I did update my graphics driver. Ah. Are you ready? Please stand for the national anthem. Da, 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 da. Drop the bass. Come on. Oh, it's so fucking good. <laughs> it's so good. I love this music. If, if this music doesn't win some kind of award, I'm, I'm quitting. I'm quitting life. I'm out. All the awards for Borislav Slavov. There has never been a Slavia man alive. Let's do this. Down, 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 boy, the rather. You forgot to give my soul back yesterday. Can I have it back today? I haven't taken it yet. It remains in your body. I can see it there. It's uh, still, still wearing away, doing nothing. It's right there inside your human coil. Yeah, they had a graphics update for NVIDIA today, in case anyone hasn't seen it. So my stream was a little bit late today because someone, I don't know who, might have forgotten to update their graphics driver. Uh, don't know who, but um, yeah, stream was a little bit late today, uh, coincidentally. But there is a new update. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, which is specifically to help Valder's Gate 3 run beautifully. So you lied yesterday? That's an untrusty elf. Well, technically, right. The subscribe button is agreeing to the terms and conditions of immortality. Uh, unless you press it, you haven't fully agreed, therefore it's illegal. Um, but in very, very small print underneath the button are the full guidelines for immortality as well. So usually, uh, in order attention. to officially take the soul Trust and not have any underhanded business that will get me thrown in jail. Yes. That's what happens. Yeah, yeah. A streamer is neither early nor are they late. They arrive precisely when they intend to. Precisely. Indeed. Oh, hi, Gail. Yeah, was right oh, magic. we were in here. Yes, this is the knoll that I forced to kill her friends and then herself. I was very proud of that. It did feel slightly evil, though. You know, the more I play RPGs, the more I question whether I really am chaotic good. I don't know. I always thought lawful good, and then there was a time where I was like, okay, I'm a little bit chaotic. Like, sometimes I change my mind, depending on the situation. But I'm slipping closer and closer towards, um... Evil. Is there actually anything? Oh, yeah, I don't have any lockpicks, so. What now? What now? Look in there. Oh, a rotten carrot. How delicious. Can we throw this, please? Can we throw the sack? I quite like to walk through here. Can you throw it somewhere else? There you go. <laughs> Where am I? Why am I at the bottom of the list? All's well that ends. It's not right, not I tell as you. Bad as it could have. God, this place is huge. I mean, there's obviously stuff in there. <sighs> I've got no thieves tools. Let's do a jump though. Huh? It's locked. I'm gonna mark this on my map again. Hello? Hello? There we go. Tig. Hole. Chest. So I've got like three chest markers of chests that I can't open. Because I don't have tools. Hey Callie, welcome on in. Avoiding spoilers, fair enough. You should play this through first time completely unspoiled. Enjoy your playthrough. Report back on which character you play as as well. Ooh, mushrooms. Ooh, fine. Don't mind if I do. I'm so glad there's no acrobatic checks on jumps. I would be dumb for if there were. Especially because I have a lot of, like, squishy caster types as well. 
Uh, what is that noise? Did you hear that? I swear that came from down the... What is that? There's something splashing. There's something in the nidaps. Hey, Gail, Gail. Can you get down there with Misty Step? Not that I want to send you into danger. But like, is there, is there anywhere down there that you can get to? Uh, not enough space, but he could jump there if there was space. Okay. Okay. We'll try it later. For the save DC's thing, both enemies and allies, I think. For instance, if you're a caster, your proficiency isn't added to your DC for enemies. Apparently, because the, <laughs> the proficiency bonus, too, in this case, won't get added. Also, fighters are using int instead of strength for their calculations. Oh, God. No, that's really bad. That's not good. Yeah, because fighters aren't going to have give up now. any well. int or even if they do not much at all. So that that's not great. I didn't even notice that. I guess I've not been using anyone who's a fighter very much. Like, I'm a little bit biased towards magic -y characters and Astarian. Astarian I just take with me all the time. Well, that's interesting. Hopefully they can fix it soon. I think you can bring a chest to camp, even if it's locked. Edu! I completely forgot you can do that! I did that in my first playthrough when I found um, the box in the cave with Albert, And I forgot you could do that. You could literally just take it with you. Ah. Wait, how much does it weigh? <laughs> it's going to be quite heavy. Quite right, for you. everyone gets a chest each. Can Even you, you we can scale. We're going to carry them back to camp. I mean, to be fair, we probably should go back to camp oh, soon. Excellent. We just got out of a very big fight. On it. On it. You pick this one up. It's arm day, Gail. You noodle wizard. Pick it up. There we go. How are you doing now? Oh, he's okay. Oh, I can carry loads of stuff. Um, Will. Why don't you get this one? Eh. Whee! Pick up. Do not question how Gale gets that into his backpack. It's a bag of holding, okay? It's a bag of holding. Unlimited space. Question nothing. It's like when characters take weapons out in MMOs and it just like comes from their butt. And there's no explanation as to where they're hiding it. It just it just appears. You don't want to know where it comes from. You don't want to know where Gale has put that chest. Trust me. Target is too far. I can't do that yet. Still do not like the splashing noises that I'm hearing. Too high. Oh, why are you whining now? It is not too high. You literally just jumped it. You can go from over here if you like. You want to go from over here? Come on, Will. Right. Astarian, show them how it's done, darling. Oh my. Why Why will you not do it? Darling, I was counselling on you. Come on, come to the very edge. Oh, buds. You all had no problem before. Oh, there we are. There we are. There's a nice lip there. Everyone follow Captain Starry. He's the team leader now. I went somewhere Bacon's one time without Astarian, and I couldn't go back and unlock a bunch of areas. He's so useful for lockpicking. Like, he's one of the only characters that can do it. I think, um, eventually wizards get something that can open chests and locks in general, where they kind of shake it with force magic, but they don't get that until much later. So at the moment, Starry is indispensable. And why would I replace him anyway? Like, why, why would I do that to myself? That would be a disservice to myself. He right is best boy. F5. I do need to meet Karlak though, so yeah. I need to go down a little bit if we want to hunt down Karlak. I got distracted by the gnolls. And I have no doubt that there are gnolls further down here as well. Let's go have a look up here. Can't go there. Yes, I can. 
I can go anywhere. This is Baldur's Gate 3. I can do anything. Milk can. A bowl. Sure, I'm a loot goblin. I'll take anything. Arrow of acid. Arrow of darkness. Spreads magical darkness on impact. Useful. If you want to stealth around. Crossbow here. This is going to make me encumbered. What do you mean? I'm only carrying all this crap. Surely it's not that heavy. Go on, Gail. You take some of this. Enjoy. I'm not carrying all of it. Oh, it's warning me again. This will encumber you. Mmm, rotten chicken eggs, rotten bananas. They'll be worth so much back at camp. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Hey, Pieris. Welcome on in. Oh, so much. I've been waiting years for this game. And it doesn't feel real that it's finally here, but I'm so, so excited to be playing it. What path lies before me? Literally, every time I boot up Baldur's Gate 3, I get shivers through my entire body. And I know that things are very easily overhyped in the gaming space, and, you know, people make big claims about games, but they deserve every single ounce of praise that they're getting for this game. It's incredible so far. Do we go deeper in the cave? Or do we return another day? Oh, chasm. Okay, that's not a cave, it's a chasm. Maybe not then. <laughs> Maybe we go this way. Uh, that is also a chasm. Does this lead into the goblin camp? Is this another entrance? F5. That is the only problem. Is It's pretty huge. And I know for some of you, it took a couple of days to actually download the game. So when we played on launch day, you're coming in and being like, how are you playing already? I'm downloading it. I am very, very lucky to be blessed with super speedy internet. And also I cheated because I had a press copy of the game. <laughs> so it pre-downloaded the, the press copy. Oh, the press copy. Okay, yeah, just, just kill a barrel because you... Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh my God. Weave, save me. I cannot take much more. Somewhere in the far distance, I can hear the cackles of Baldur's Gate 3 devs. That was an Indiana Jones style rolling boulder. What the hell? The worst thing is my character saw it, but she was already a few footsteps away from it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Take out your whole team. At least take out all but one. TPK! Okay, let's not do that again. Um I don't think it was a TPK. I think I think at least one of us was alive, so one of us could have helped the others get up again. Okay, Starry, why don't you go first? Because you're good at detecting traps and you're good at disarming traps. Go on, my boy. Approach with caution. It's just, I know it's there. Failed! Some excuse for a rogue. Looking ahead. Okay, well, you go, you go on a lot worse. Trap. Oh, look, Cautious. it's a trap, guys. You best be careful. Starry. You go and have a look. You can disarm it. He's got this. He also had a snack today. Perception check failed. Yeah, it's um, it's an interesting one because obviously if your entire party fails a perception check, you know that something's there. It's not quite as subtle as a DM just going, okay, as you come around this corner, can everyone just do a perception check for me? because you know specifically what it was referencing. And I had the same thing happen when I was in the Druid's Grove and 
there was a little kind of cruel space and there was a perception check for all of my party. They all failed it. So obviously none of them knew that it was there, but I knew it was there and I could see it. And it was really frustrating. So I think that's the one thing that I, I don't know how well that translates over to a video game format. Just the, the very appearance of a perception check lets you know something's there. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Oh dear. How nasty. Ooh. You know, if I didn't disarm this, I could use it. If you knew where the tripwires were, and you were being chased by the gnolls from over here, you could set them off on purpose. And that would be very satisfying. Oh! Bear Whispers inspired! By what? Survive the bandit's rolling boulder trap. Easy. We never died, it never happened. Never happened. Uh, same is true when the GM says to make a perception roll, yeah, but you don't know like exactly where it is. I guess I guess with Baldur's because it's on the screen, you can kind of see what it must have been, sort of thing. Like, oh, it wasn't it wasn't a, an opening or something because I don't see any openings here. Like, it must have been a trap. You can kind of you can kind of guess what it is in a way that if you're playing D and D, you might not be able to guess. <clears throat> ah. Not my lover's ankles. Are you romancing anyone? Well, my favorite is this rather remarkable gentleman here. I do love him very much. He's already had a suck on me. <laughs> that was last night. It was glorious. I had a great time. He had a great time. It was thoroughly enjoyed by everyone. I, I do hope he's not just in it for the blood, though. I have a lot on my mind. I, I have a slight feeling that he's using me. I don't know. Yes, he had a little drink. A little feast on my blood. Should mind my step. And now he's happy. I made him happy. He woke up happy. <laughs> okay, can I jump over this boulder? Not enough space. Where am I needed? Hey. Wizard gizzards, go and have a look over there. Can you miss your step? Yep. I mean, I probably could move some barrels to get over there. Hang on, can a normal person rest. jump from the top of here? Which way to the nearest library? Uh, there aren't any libraries around here, any knolls, darling. I mean, you could jump down here. It it will knock you prone. I don't know if you're going to regret that. Uh, well, you know, you can misty step, but it kind of seems like a waste of your level two spell slot. Screw it. Screw it. <laughs> I'll allow it. We probably need a rest anyway soon. To live in more interesting times. I just want to see where this links up with. Oh, she did that quite well. Sorry, bum. Come on. Can't get there. Why not, How darling? Delicious. Come on. I could destroy the wall. I uh, no, no. I I think that would be quite rude to the wooden planks. I just uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to ruin their day. Ah. Is that blood? Yeah, that is true. Uh, never mind. I forget that I can just inst instantly destroy environmental objects in this game. You, you can just destroy it. That's the thing. As much as I care about the planks. Oh, oh well. And there's alcohol there, so I could create an explosion. Oh, and there's some there. Oh, pff. All right, then. Typical whisper solution to a very simple problem. A hero at heart. All right, what now? Lost what now, then? Go on, then. There we go. I always fail my perception checks. 
There's a reason why we have a certain emote in my chat. Okay, where are we? Where are we? Here on the top part of the park. With haste. I don't know what other nasties there are around here. Oh, this all links up. That's where we were fighting before. Okay. And then this is the bridge that had all the blood on it. Oof. Could Karlak be in there? Let's go have a look. Might need a little rest before that though. Short rest. How many spell slots Defender this world got? Mm, one. To do? I know there's a big fight up there. Oh. Better than nothing. There we go. All right, everybody link up. I don't want to see any slacking. Follow me. Hey, Omi. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Shuft as well. A proper hello for Shuft. His voice also had much character. Yes, I love his voice acting. It's great. It's glorious. Hey, Enigmatic. Send help because a Githyanki woman just threatened me with death by snoo snoo. That sounds like an offer you can't refuse. That doesn't sound like a threat. I'd take her up on it. Lazel is a tricky one. I feel like a lot of people haven't liked Lazel so far because she's so confrontational and she just seems like a bitch, but she's just direct. She says what she thinks. So many other members of our party conceal things and aren't always telling you the truth, but you, you can't always depend on Lazel to tell you the truth. She'll tell it to you to your face. Not necessarily in a very kind way, but she'll tell it to you. Okay, Will's with me, making sure he's here in case we do find Karlak. I think we should sneak. Better be cautious. Shh. On my way. Come on. Get moving. Oh my god. What the fudge happened here? Well, this is interesting because in early access when I got here, there was a big fight going on and I joined in. And there were some dwarves here and I managed to save the dwarves. So I wonder if it's because I've rested and it's been, I think, three or four rest nights now. Maybe I was just too late to get here before that happened. Oh, there's a waypoint here as well. Hmm. Karlak's still further south somewhere. Bodies everywhere. Accident or sabotage. Survival failed. Anyone else? Mm. Gail, Will? Uh, you guys probably aren't so great that. Will? Watching Give it a go. That might be worth a look. Whoa! Okay. I need a shovel to dig this up. Ah, oh, no. Shovels are for noobs. You know what we need? A mother tracking badger! Hell yeah. <laughs> badger, 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 badger. Can I, can I, can I badger shovel? Is that a thing? <laughs> I swear this was a thing. Use. Uh, claws. Borrow. I mean, I can borrow into it. I don't know whether that will achieve our end goal. Not enough space. No. No. I don't know if it will work. Everybody stand back. Badger needs to get to work. Let's get going. Badger. No, I don't think I can. Not enough space. Not enough space. I think there's only specific places. Uh, yeah, so yeah, no, I can't badger. Unless I'm missing something. It is my first time being a badger, so... I have not successfully badgered. I'm just staring at the dirt mound, looking very sad. Very sorry for myself. Well, I guess we really do need a shovel then. I swear there's somewhere I saw a shovel before. Sad badger. It's fine. 
Come on then, let's go see what's going on up here. I'll stay as a badger. Please don't hurt me, chat. I'm a first time badger. I know. I haven't learned the ways of the badgy badge. Mr. Badger. Detective Badger is going to solve a mystery. There's been a murder here. I need a pipe so I can be a proper detective badger. And like a Sherlock cat. Badger, 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 mystery. Murder. Badger, 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 badger. Lots of blood. Lots of blood. And lots of loot as well. I don't mind. Ooh, rib cages. Yum. Mm. Traveler's side guide to the Salt Coast. I've been looking for more books. Let's see what this does. Someone made short work of these knolls. Made it look easy too. Wonder who it was. That's someone to be reckoned with. Hmm. We'll see. Overland travellers nearing Baldur's Gate have been known to smell the city before they clap eyes on it. This is thanks to what is known as the Outer City, the area that houses much of what Baldur's Gate needs to survive and thrive, but at the same time would rather not keep within its walls. Tanneries, stockyards, slaughterhouses, salt works, and less than regulated markets abound here, as well as shanties and camps for the less fortunate souls who are drawn to the city. It is the author's firm opinion that respectable travellers should never dawdle in such a place, no matter how tempting its base attractions may be after a long journey. Instead, they should make their way promptly, while paying strict attention to any valuables on their person or in their baggage, then see about presenting themselves to one of the main entrances to the lower city, such as the famed Basilisk Gate. Once entry has been secured, they can consider themselves in the city proper. Don't want to be mingling with those paupers for any longer than you have to. Oh, disgusting. Don't waste your time. I'll take that with me. Thank you. Badger enjoys his reading. He's an intellectual. He's inside. So many null ears. Ooh. Arrow of ice. Leather armor. Oi, oi, oi. Don't mind if I do. Seeing all the Drell and Seldarine options in chat is really cool. Yeah, it's, it's cool how you get different options depending on your race and your class as well. Ooh, a vase. What does this have in it? Nothing. Wonderful. Milk. Hmm. Caravan never made it. Someone must have taken what was inside. And it wasn't just tomatoes. I love how the fur in this game looks so fluffy. Look at it. I just want to reach through the screen and give him a tickle. Sausages! Oh yeah, someone pointed out to us in the community server today that a uh, salami is a melee weapon. It is classed as a melee weapon. <laughs> so you can actually equip it as a weapon. Everything can be thrown as well. Like, I could reach into my bag and throw tomato and rotten tomatoes at my enemies. I might do that, actually, next time we come across someone. But yeah, salami is a main hand weapon. You equip that salami. Thwart your enemies yeah. with that salami. Hello? Oh, oh. What's going on in here? We should probably sneak around the back. <laughs> sneaky badger, sneaky badger. Gonna F5 as well. I'm wondering about crawling onto the roof as a cat and getting in that way. Although that's gonna use another one of my slots to change form, I think. Because if I don't want to be a badger again, I've gotta use another spell slot. Ooh, a courgette. Lovely. Can I use the courgette as a melee weapon? I'm asking all the important questions here. Latest. Latest courgette. I can't see my courgette. Where's it gone? 
I can only see my rotten tomato. Disappointing. Vanishing courgette. Oh. Someone else be successful. Oh, oh. Burrow hole. Is that for a badger? For a badger like me? Oh, go on, badger, badger. You should burrow. Not enough space. Ah! What's on your mind? Gale! I hate you, Gale. I needed to be a badger. And I just accidentally clicked you. Oh, I'm reloading. God. Such an attention whore, Gale. I didn't even want to click you. Ugh. Disgusting. I really hope that with DLC and stuff, we can eventually hit 20. I want unlimited wild shapes. Yeah. And especially the magic casting classes get so many incredibly powerful spells later on. Huge AoEs, which are just so much fun, but also so dangerous. All right, Gail, don't do that again. Don't touch me. Right. In fact, I'm going on my own. You twerp, stay here. One day sort this out me. myself. Use. Again, first time badger. Uh, I know it's there. Like, how do I actually... Do I, do I, okay, do I go burrow and then I have to click on it or just around it? Oh, oh, oh! Not sure that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> um... The use doesn't do anything for me. Should we, should we try again? I mean, it's highlighted yellow. I'm just causing chaos out here, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, a severed head. Mm. Ooh, an arm. Mm. Do we have any badger professionals up in chat? Because, like, I don't know if I'm badgering effectively. It's a burrow. I can burrow. Burrow into the ground and emerge at a target position. Okay, so I, I do I have to I stand on it and then burrow. Uh uh uh. Uh 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 So I will burrow in there and then I'll emerge over here. Really? No. <laughs> Maybe you need to be a small animal. Maybe? Although, um, the smaller animals don't have the burrow ability as far as I know. Um, unless it's just like, I've got to crawl down the hole as something really small. Let me see. Badger, 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 badger. What else can I be? A cat, a wolf, a spider, a badger. A cat? Really? That's the smallest creature I have. Do you not need to target where you want to go? That's what I did first, and it just kind of destroyed the ground over there. Um, you emerge at the target location. Where are you trying to get to? Well, this, the burrow hole. Just trying to interact with it. I'm not sure how it works. Can you go in here? Ah, okay. Had to be a small creature. Ooh. Perception check failed. I'm guessing that um, Gale could summon a familiar as well and they could go down here. Dusty clothes. Oh, wooden chest. Is that a trap chest? No. I keep failing the checks. Ooh. Ooh, money. Okay, I'll take all that. Oh, wow, there's so much in here. Sandals. Anything of use? I'm not going to be able to actually use that much. Oh, dear God. Okay. What have I seen? What have I seen? What have I noticed? I noticed the vents myself. Because vents usually mean that there's a trap and it's going to release poison. Oh, guys, I'm just a small cat. Can someone take all this crap I'm picking up? Here you go, Will. 
Uh, there you go. Let's sort by weight and then I'll just chuck the heaviest stuff at them. Who wants the severed arm? Oh, Gail, you'll enjoy that. Uh, Gail, you can have the severed head too. I'm so kind to my party. There you go. I can send to camp as well. Yeah, I haven't got a huge amount of room in my chest. I didn't mean to press that yet, but thankfully nothing bad happened. Okay. Torch. So lighting also affects your ability to stealth. So if you go into somewhere and you're aiming to stealth around, you can turn off candles and torches. Ooh, ingots. Okay, I'm in comfort again. <laughs> let, me, let me send the ingots back to camp because they are pretty heavy. There you go. There you go, there you go. With tab, you can see everyone's inventories. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, and you can just straight up drag. Enjoy, Will. And Gail. Okay. I'm looking around. Broken armor. Sure. Broken club. But I want that. Not really. Hmm. Can I jump up here as a get? No. Can still look around though. Light hammer. Sure. And bish bash bosh something with it. Meow. A bit suspicious. It's a bit too quiet down here. Okay, let's go in. Okay, so with the perception checks, I'm noticing the vents. But I can't yet see something that's activating them, which concerns me. Another failed check. So many vases. loot. Ooh. This feels like a trap and I, I don't like it. More rotten tomatoes though. We're going to be rich. Oh, and stinky cheese. Mm, my favorite. If anyone's new to stream, I hate cheese. Stone chair. Why is it just a random chair here? Oh! Piaris! Piaris, a very warm welcome to the Wisps! I hope you enjoy your complimentary immortality for the small price of your soul. You now have Twitch emotes of little elves to use and glorious immortality, as well as ad free viewing. Welcome to the Wisps! I will transmute that soul as soon as I can as well. Oh! Wait, it clicked. Which means it set something off in another room. <gasps> the chair is the key. Click. Or maybe I'm not heavy enough. Maybe I need to like move something on there. Click. Did that open a door? What did it do? Click. Click. Or maybe I need multiple. Oh, multiple things on multiple chairs to activate the thing, which is probably a secret door that opens this. Ha ha ha. Someone get me a pot. Click. Yeah. Pro gamer. Pro gamer, pro, pro, pro gamer. Oh, oh. Ooh, a warhammer. Did 
the leadership of Zentarim. An excerpt from the ongoing metatext rebound by Isofa Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denir for her heretical attempts to reconstruct the metatext, her god's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Despite their protestation to the contrary, it takes no keen eye to see echoes of Bainite philosophy in modern Zentarim practice, a strict militaristic hierarchy where all power flows up from the top. Who occupies that position today is the matter of some speculation, for the Black Network's leadership was thought destroyed, along with their headquarters at Zentil Keep in 1383 DR. In the following decades, however, a new base of power began to consolidate at the fortress of Darkhold, far to the south. At its centre stands the Peragost, an enigmatic armoured figure to whom the Zentarim's rebirth is almost single-handedly attributed. Whoever their leader, it is clear that this new Zentarim have not abandoned plans for domination so much as their, they've recalculated their approach. Where once their focus was on the subversion and conquest of nations, the network of today is much more concerned with establishing their stranglehold on the market, a power which crosses borders that are closed to more conventional forces. Okay. So is this a Zentarim hideout, maybe? I don't know much about them. Oh, pouch. Ah, nothing in the pouch. Baited. More bronze. I'm so encumbered. Yes, I am the master of inventory management. We'll use a sword, right? Um, a rapier. You wanna try this? It's technically a scimitar. I don't know if it's better than what you already have though. Two to nine, three to eight. Mm, maybe stick with what you know for now. A shield, take it. Let's get some light going in here. Although I'm a cat, so I do have a little bit of dark vision, as far as I know. You can also choose several items by using shift control, kind of like a Windows. Oh, well, like with a drag? I'm so encumbered. Gale's not pulling his weight in the party, quite literally. Come on, Gale. Pick some random crap. Take it for the team. Okay. I think I'm ready to see what's in the secret room now. F5. Okay. Ah! Cat! You're okay. You're okay, cat. You're okay. Heavy objects can be placed over vents to stop anything dangerous from exploding forth. Let's... I can't disarm this as a cat, I'm guessing. Can I jump over it as a cat? Um... <sighs> so, this is all flammable, I'm pretty sure. And I don't know whether this is the ignition switch. Mm. Let me stand on it for science. Okay, so that just refills it. Okay. I kind of want whatever's in that chest, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. So we love F5, basically. Yeah, it's a poison. It's a ticking poison. So every time that it would do damage to me, I'm, I'm rolling to not take the damage. Okay, so we can put pots over the vents. I mean, ideally, I just don't stand on the thing. 
I could just not stand on it, right? Meow. It's fine. I'm the cat. I'm live. I've seen another vent over here. Okay. That was a lot of gold. Don't mind if I do. Helmets, great swords. Whoa. Gloves of heroism. When you use your channel... When you use your channel oath spells, you gain heroism. Gale can absorb this item's magic. Well, if Gale is hungry, we might give it to him. He deserves it. Helmet, metallic gloves. Are those any good? I'll take them. I'm just a loot goblin. <gasps> Wait! I remember this place! I remember this place because there's smut here! I hope you're ready for some Baldur's Gate smut. <clears throat> this is an excerpt from the play A Pleasurable Deal, banned in no fewer than four cities for its lewd content. Its scandalous nature led to a number of widely distributed and illicit printings. <gasps> oh! Come here, fair folk, a tale now lost to time. In grief this man well sunk to depth sublime, a gift he sought to win his lady's heart. Our cambion smiled, for now the game did start. Enter Robert, male tiefling, crying. Carlisle, stage right, flash of smoke. Weep not, young man. The free your wife has fled, and comfort found in comrades' arms and bed. She licks her lips and cries his name. Oh my! And now you seek to be the apple of her eye? How does a stranger know such things, I ask? I watch you from the shadows, and I see your shame and grief for nature's malady. You seek to win your lady and her bed, to have your name upon her lips instead. You know my curse, my pain, my grief, my woe. Of you I know you seek a larger hoe, to plough fair maid, and sow a seed to grow. But lack do ye a mighty horn and mast, with which to guide a maid to bed and fast. Oh! It's basically like bawdy Shakespeare. I love it. I remember that book! So good! The last thing you would expect going. to find in a treasure room is a smut book. Someone's been storing their smut away securely. Oh! Hey, Stormer! Welcome! Hi, Mercy! Yep, now I suddenly remember this entire place because I remember the smut book. Okay, let's jump over here. Whee! And there was another... entrance over here? Does this game play well on controller? It does have controller support. And how they do it on controller, as far as I know, is they have quick wheels. So if you've played Divinity Original Sin 2, it works in much the same way. But you bring up a range of different wheels. And some are for combat, some are for different skills to use. And then you just flick to the one that you want to use. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, it's well mapped. I haven't actually tried Baldur's on controller yet. But they did it well for Divinity 2. So anyone in chat played on controller? You know, I, I could just scratch at the thing. <laughs> oh, some objects are unusually strong. You need to deal enough damage at once to actually damage them. So I'd have to do 36 damage in one attack. All right, fine. I'll leave. How did I get in here? I don't actually know how to get out. Um... Huh. Well, I came in through a hole, and I think it was the camera was turned this way, and I came in through here. So, is there a way back up? I can't 
see anything like on the roof section. Oh, a broom. You can always get out by cheating and teleporting. I mean, I could. I consider myself an honorable owl, but I could. Let's jump up and see. Can I jump up here? No. Well, maybe there's just no getting out. Maybe I'm trapped in here forever. I have a weird feeling Seems there's more enough. hidden things. I feel like I'm missing something. Hmm. I tried controller. I preferred keyboard and mouse. Yeah, Starla was playing controller and it seemed to be working pretty well for her. She plays almost everything on controller, so she's very used to that. I'm rubbish with controller though. I prefer mouse and keyboard, if possible. Hmm. How's everyone doing out there? Having a good day? Hmm. Well. I might have to cheat and go back to the waypoint. I know there's something else in there though and it's gonna bother me. But there's nothing I can do at the moment that's gonna do 36 damage in one turn. It's not gonna happen. Can I... Okay. Didn't mean to go there. The Risen Road is where I want to go. Meow. Hello, rest of my party. Sorry to leave you behind, my loves. I've returned. Hello. Well, there was some nice loot in there. Woo! Well, I want to be a cat still. Thank you. Okay, you all wait here. I'm going to go and scout. I reckon there's a way to get on the top of the roof. How far can I jump? Hmm, could probably go around the long way. I'm hearing a weird noise. Someone's doing magic in there. F5. How tall is my catch jump? Hmm, not quite high enough. Path is interrupted, too high. I need to get up higher. Breathe deep and move. Meow, is there anyone here? I did wonder if I could jump through the window, but it's not technically open the whole way. What's going on up here? Weird. There's blood on the roof. I think he just got pushed off. Someone just shoved him right off the top. Okay. Well, not really another way in. That, there is a door there, but I'm scared there's going to be someone right behind it. Is this the default cat form? I'm pretty sure this is what you look like every time you transform into a cat, but I'm not sure if the fur colour changes depending on your hair colour. Um, I don't know, because my, my character doesn't have white hair and there's no grey on my character anywhere, but they have light ashy blonde hair with pink highlights. So I don't know, it would be really cool if the fur colour changed depending on your character's hair colour. I know that eyes are kind of the same, but 
it hasn't got the same heterochromia as my character has, so maybe not. <gasps> People! Anders. Ew, Anders, go back to Dragon Age. No one likes you. Lords of Madness. Volume 4. Yenogu. Mm. Of all the demon lords, few have made their mark on the world as formerly as Yenogu. Though his ravenous hunger is claimed to be a mindless compulsion, there is nothing mindless about the thorough insinuation of his presence in the world via his chosen, Knolls. But how are Knolls created? First, a chosen of Ninogu must do their master's wills. Kill. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Who's this coming back? Warmonger! Welcome back, Warmonger. You still hunger for battle after all these months. Three years and a succession of half-elves, still no child support. Are the elven coffers ringing empty these days? Well, I told you I'm too busy playing video games, especially now Baldur's Gate is out. You think I have time to give to these half-elven children? You have, what, three sub-babies now? That's just greedy, right? You should stop there. You can't afford any more half-elven children. Not my problem. Who brought them into the world? You did. Thank you so much for 36 months, Warmonger. Good to have your soul back. I will keep it very safe indeed. Is that a Momo up in chat? Hey, Momo, good to see you. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I was just going to call her Dawn Whisper. And then I said to chat, hmm, how about we choose another nature word plus Whisper? Because that would fit quite well because I'm a druid. And of course, the first thing chat says is Bear Whisper because of the infamous bear scene between Astarian and Halson. So I am Bear Whisper, and maybe me and Halson will have a lovely bear scene together. Who knows? I'm more of an Astarian girly myself, but we'll see. Oh, sorry, I was telling you about how to um create knolls. Here's the recipe if anybody wants a knoll. All right, first, step one, a chosen of Yonogu must do as their master wills, kill. A hyena that then feasts on the corpse of the chosen's victim, and a knoll is born of the glutted belly of the hyena. Knolls thus are born, uh, the knolls thus born of hunger manifest. They ravage any living being, tearing body and bone asunder, leaving behind only bones. They care not for wealth or material gain, only to satiate their hunger. That satiation is in itself an offering to Yanogu, funneled directly to him. Some might envy the gnolls for such a tangible connection to their creator god, but that envy would melt to utter terror as soon as the beast's rotting breath and wicked cackles made their way through the dark of night. If you should find yourself the object of knowledge pursuit, burn your corpses, cover your scent, and pray to whoever might aid you. For there is no bribing, begging, or reasoning with hunger incarnate. There you go. How to make a knoll step by step. Tutorial. Anyone going to try it? I'd like some knolls. I had a knoll friend. I, I convinced my knoll friend to kill everybody else. I got three natural 20s yesterday. And no, I will not stop going on about it. I got three natural 20s in a row. And there was a knoll. And I convinced them not only to stop attacking me, but to go back to their own cave and kill their own people. And then I convinced them to smash their own brains out with a natural 20. It's so good. I'm just a humble cat, don't mind me. Do they actually mind if I'm a cat? They just go, oh, what's that? I don't know if they even care. Hello, I'm a cat. You are unable to speak. I mean, they don't look dangerous. 
just a bunch of bandits. Refugee. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're dead. Oh. Has someone been killing the refugees or attempting to heal them? <gasps> Baguettes! Oh, we oui, wee! Oui. La damage, la baguette! Oh, can you use the baguette as a melee weapon? Because you can use salami as a melee weapon, so I feel like we should be able to use the baguette. If I can't use the baguette, I'm going to be very sad. Où est la baguette? Où est? Where's it gone? I don't know where it's gone. I'm so sad. It's there somewhere. I just have too many things in my bag. Où est? Où est? I have fish. It's in the camp supplies bag. Oh, actually, yeah, I've got that now. So maybe that's where they all go. Uh, mm -hmm. Ah, le baguette. Ah, you cannot use le baguette as a melee weapon. I am much sad about this. Sir. Mm. I have dried pork sausage. Oh, they even had fish and chips, which was very British. So no, no baguette melee weapon. That needs patching, Larian. Major bug. I want my baguette melee weapon. I too saw the salami thing. And when I was stuck in jail, I tried to use a bone as a melee weapon and it wouldn't let me. <laughs> Baldur's Gate logic. Can you use salami? Not bones. Not an actual hard object that could actually do damage to something. No, no. But salami, yes. Absolutely. So I could just go in here, steal all their stuff as a cat and then leave. I don't even care. Meow. You are unable to speak. What if I meow here? <laughs> meow. Here we go. And then if I shut this door, are they going to stay in here? Oh no. Oh, they walked through the door. Buzzkills. Okay, fine. Well, they don't look dangerous. I'm going to go and get my party and we'll have a look. I guess we just walk in the front door. I don't know if they're bandits. If they are, though, there aren't many of them. F5. Oh my god, can you imagine if they had the Tears of the Kingdom glue-based weapons? <laughs> that plus D&D &D players. Oh. I mean, Matt Mercer already built a tower of crates to get into Baldur's Gate. That you can already do that in this game. If you need to get up somewhere high, you can just build a whole tower of crates. So. Meow. Have I met Karlak yet? Hopefully we're meeting her today. We were going to try and find her, but I got distracted by Knowles and now this, whatever this is up here. Yeah, he, he climbed up a pile of uh, crates stacked on top of each other. There were like hundreds of crates. And then he fired an arrow, arrow of relocation over the gates and got into the Baldur's Gate treasury. Hello? Well, we don't need to hide. Come on, you can unstealth. We're gonna, we're gonna walk right in there. Heads held high. Hello? Who, who's Ooh. there? Please. Keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. Who or what attacked you? Must have been the gnolls. A devil. The most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. One horn? Yeah, Carlac baby, is that you? Devil's boot liquor. Oh no. You know her, which means you know what the fiend is capable of. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. This could be the work of a devil, but they collect souls through cunning, not carnage. Can't be our Karlak. 
Not the same Karlak that we saw bashfully flirting with the main character during her date. I mean... There's no way! Like, every single clip I've seen of Karlak, she's a sweetheart. There's no way Karlak would just go on a murdering rampage. Someone's framing her for something. I don't trust it. Where is this devil? Oh, I can straight up just attack them. I wish you and yours well, but I must be on my way. Where is this lovely, adorable sweetheart? She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. Okay. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. This is the Sword of Justice, blessed by Tyr. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head, and Tyr will consider her crimes repaid. I'll think about it. May the just God guide you. What about you? If you want to go poking around in the cellar, be my guest. Plug your nose first, though. Why? What's down there? Corpse. Half right to mush. Oh. Must have been down there a ten day or more. Well, this is a nice place to hole up in. What is it? It was a toll house. By the time we arrived, it was more like a slaughterhouse. There's more monsters than coin moving down this road. Oi. Tell houses mean gold. You happen to see any around? There's a locked door down the hatch. Doesn't look like anyone's managed to get in. If there's any gold left, that's where it'll be. Okay. Down there, you say? Okay. Can't be that easy. Hello. Oh. Gate at the ready. Gail, speak with Dad. The corpse oh. regards you lifelessly. We do be dropping some frames. I see that frame drop. Oh, interesting. Ah, uh, okay. That might be the graphics update. Uh, anything I can do about that? I can turn DLSS off and see if that helps. Mm -mm. Yeah, we had no problems. It's off. It's already off. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, DSS helps. Wait, so turning it on is good? It's one of those things that I'm like, I know that turning it on and off does something, but I don't know if it's good or bad. On is good for FPS. Okay. Quality. Oh, I think it's reset the graphic settings since the update. Yeah, because some stuff is back on Ultra that wasn't before. Rude. So rude. It will disable DLLA anti-aliasing though. Boy, yeah, I think it's the new update that's scuppered us a bit. Performance. I accept. Looks better already? Yeah, it looks better already. Okay, well, if anyone has that issue, that's how you fix it. Update just came out today for NVIDIA graphics cards. Who are you? Infernal servant. So long I've forgotten why. How did you die? Sariel's brute <gasps> destroyed me! Wait, Sariel? You killed a pack of gnolls, how? The pact! Power! A pact? Which devil did you deal with? Fallen! Lady! Zariel. Okay, Zariel. 
Uh, let, me, let me just write down the name Zariel over here. So I don't forget it. Why would you sign a pact with a devil? Power. Strength. Free dental. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay. Need any supplies? We've fewer mouths to feed now. How many did you lose? Two. Both stalwarts of Tyr. Sworn to uphold justice. What happened to you? The Lord of Justice sent us after a devil haunting this area. We squared off against her. We lost. Talk to Anders if you want the details. I don't have it in me to recount the horror. I'll take those supplies now and everything else you own. We got to trade. I'm kind of uh, maxed out on everything. <laughs> I've got some really crappy scimitars and things if you want those. Would you like some severed arms and heads from your friends outside? One gold apiece. One gold apiece. Can I just... Because I know he asked for the severed head of Karlak. Can I Can I just give him that severed head and be like, Yep, yeah, there's Karlak. I can hardly tell it's her. Absolutely mangled the thing, but it's her, I promise. Tia's name. Don't really know much about Tia. Oh, supply pack. Thank you. They're being a bit too nice to us, and I don't trust it. Still breathing, despite everything. Never wanted the easy part. Soul coin. I bet that will fit in my bag. Wait, what? Where the heck was that hidden? <clears throat> oh. I guess because you did the deal with the devil. That's why it was there. basement Let's see what we can find i suspect trouble so safe down we go are we really going to hunt a devil on their behalf eh, not really we're gonna we meet a brand Carla, new friend and we save these souls from eternal damnation justice will be served i don't think so will i think you're wrong about that Aha! Speak with Dead! With Speak weave. with Dead is so useful. And you can just recast it for free. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hello. Uh, who are you then? I don't know if I care that much. Uh, how did you die? Goblins. Yaffy. Cut it. And why were you in the basement? Were you hiding? Hiding. Yeah. I didn't. Okay. Were you alone when you died? Gods abandoned me and fence. And who are you? Toll collector, Merton. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. Enjoy the afterlife. Do you have any loot, Martin? Oh my god, you do. The Toll House Ledger. Let's have a read of this. It might give us some clues. A ledger containing details of Toll House's takings for the current year, 1492 DR. Most entries are neatly written. 
listing the travelers in the amount of gold paid, but the text on the most recent page is smudged and rambling. Nine Marpanos, four merchants with single wagon of sundries, minus 25 gold. Twelve Marpanos, Foaming Fist Company, Foaming Fist are the, the group of mercenaries who act as like the, the city guard for Baldur's Gate. Minus 100 gold fee waived. Fist don't pay tolls, they extort. Marpinos, brewer and two guards, bringing kegs to Walkeen's Rest, minus 35 gold. Seven farmers, no goods, no gold. Wounded, warned us to leave, that must be the knolls. Sent courier to request extra guards or relief. More farmers, too many to count, no goods, carrying their own dead. Road untenable, preparing to abandon post. So they had warning, but help didn't come in time. So I wonder if help is still on the way. If they already sent for help. Or maybe the messenger in never got there. Surprise. I'm just taking everything. And the greedy loot goblin. Who knows? There could be something useful. Carrots! See, I could have missed those carrots. Or we could have gone hungry. Messenger was Scratch's messenger from yesterday. <gasps> he said where he came from, though. Wasn't he taking some messages to Baldur's Gate? I can't remember. We'll have to ask Scratch. Ooh, ingots. Aha! Well, I've already been in here. This is the other side of that door that I went into as a cat. So technically, I don't need to go in there. I already know what's in there. Lock picking impossible. But that's fine. I already took the gold. Easy. F5. Let's go find this devil then. They said she went down by the river. So she must be somewhere here. Django! Django with the magical shinies. Thank you for those sparkling shinies. I will keep them safe. I shall not toss them into the river. How's elf life going? Really good. I mean, Baldur's Gate is out. So that has immediately made my entire life. And it is just as good as I thought it was going to be. We could dead. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hello. Uh, hello, sorry to interrupt you. You must be enjoying the whole death thing. Uh, where were you headed then, when you died? Anywhere. Away. Safety. Okay. And how did you die? Sorry, I know you might not want to talk about it, but... Jumped! To escape! Broken! Should have used Featherfall. What a noob. Do you have any valuables by any chance? No offense. Gold! Basement! Locked! Yeah, I already took that. Thanks, though. Uh, yeah, um, who are you, by the way? I mean, I've already, I've already been in the toll house. I've taken all the money. Vance. Oh, toll yes. collectors. Oh, okay. Well, I saw your friend just now. He's also dead. You'll be happy to know. Where is the toll house key? Not that I need it. I fell. Dropped key. Well done. Okay. The spell's power. Bye remains. now. You can ask no more questions. Where is the key? It might be down, down, down by the river. That song is so good. I love it so much. Oh, you have gold. Karlak is definitely down, down, down by the river. 
she's down there somewhere. Oh, there's more blood here. Wait, wait. Bear oh, whisper, well, go first. No, Will, shut up. I didn't want to talk to you. Sorry. Thank have a lot on there my we go. Mind. And, well, in it. Forces to speak with a corpse. I know. I mean, I don't know about you. That's how I'd wanted to be greeted if I was brought back from the dead. Hello, love. Sorry. I know you were sleeping eternally restful and everything, but I just wanted to pop in. Hello. What's up? What's happening? How did you die? What's your name? Where do you live? Who's your mum? Who's your dad? I always ask such invasive questions. Like, I'm so rude. I barely, most of the time I don't ask what their name is. I'm just like, how did you die? You got any money? So rude. Oh, sorry, sorry. Something? No, darling. No, darling. You relax. Stay there. All right. Haha, -ha, there's his key. Oh, it's very well hidden. Nice. <gasps> Karlak, is that you? I think it might be. There's the devil we've been looking for. Oh no, she's injured. Are you alright? One horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. That's not very nice. <sighs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Well, you're the devil we've been hunting for. Karlak, right? Tell me, monster! What's it like knowing you're about to die? Uh, there are no, hello, Karlak, how are you? Options going on here, so... You're the devil we've been hunting. Karlak, right? Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers. She's got little but mines all I over her body. A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hills. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it, anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Shut up, Will. Shut up. Stand down, Will. You saw what I saw. He's like, I want to be the chivalrous one. I want to do away with the devil. No, there can't be multiple sides to this story. I need my honor and my glory. No, Will. Be practical. She's infected, same as us. And powerful, too. We could use her as an ally. Looks like you found your mark, Will. Send her back to the hills. Stand down, Will. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. Gods, you're stubborn. Karlak is not a devil, and you know it. You saw her thoughts. She poses no danger to the Zul Coast. Hey, you're right, Will. Cut her down before she causes any more trouble. <laughs> Who would do this? Who? I don't know anyone who's killed Karlak so far. I mean... Full Dark Urge playthrough, I will be super evil and I'll kill everyone, but I don't know why you would do that. Karlak's not evil or a devil and you know it. Listen to everyone sense approves. I don't want this to end Even badly for either of us. 
You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Ah, oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... I am Continue. My name is Continue. Well met, soldier. Uh-huh. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. Always. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tears, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Let's send them back where they came from. So you want me to kill the people hunting you? Yeah, I'm with you. Let's send them back where they came from. You're not a piece of property. Fuck yes! <laughs> they cornered me outside the toll house. We are just gonna up the get hill. on, my gal. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Then we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? Fuck yeah. She's uh perhaps a little rough around the edges. But I suppose I can be smooth enough for two. Oh, you smarmy bastard. I, uh, yeah. Well, I knew we were going to be friends. Sounds like a good plan. Let's go murder together. I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. Uh, hang on, though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time oh. to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? Okay. All right, we have met Karlak officially, and Will, you goofed, my friend. You messed up. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say, and I've played my part all too poorly. To be fair, though, when he realized he was wrong, he did just give up and admit that he was wrong. He's stubborn, but... Not too stubborn. I thought he would double down and be like, no, no, we must kill her. Because that's what I think I'm supposed to do and I can't be wrong. If that was Gale, I think he would have done that. His ego's too big. Stella! Hello, my loverly. How are you doing? Welcome on in. I did enjoy watching Starlet play this yesterday. Starlet was just before us. So I got to see how some of the characters interacted with her. And things went very differently. The whole thing with the squirrel went very differently for me. <laughs> no spoilers. And the whole thing with the assassin, entirely differently. She wasn't even grateful. Also, we worked out, Starlet, that she wasn't racist. It wasn't that she didn't like elves. It's just that she didn't like me. I probably rolled really badly because she I saved her life from an assassin. And then she turned around and was like, all right, get gone now. Bye. She didn't even give me that stupid coin. Did you kick it? Well, I transformed into an animal and I talked to it first off. And we agreed that I would I would keep away from her space because that's what she was angry about. She was like, keep away from my tree. And then I went back up there and she got annoyed at me because apparently I went too close to the tree again and um, I kicked her. I do not recommend that cutscene. It is so graphic. I had to reload. I felt awful. There's not even anything in the tree. It's 
someone set you on Karlak's tail. I'd like to know who this source of yours is. I can say only this. Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. Ugh, gods, what now? Do you have a tax collector on your tail? You're closer than you think. <laughs> one night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted and I'll pay my penance. Intriguing. A chance to see the blade squirm, perhaps. Mm, you don't know the half of it. Hmm. Well, that will be fun. I want to know how they've reworked Will's story. Coat your weapon in oil. Minus one penalty to damage. It's high, it's failing a constitution check. Suffer from disadvantage on strength checks and saves. Okay. Nice. Oh, I'll take that. Anywhere else I can get to from here? I don't think so. It loops all the way back around. <laughs> Squirm for me, Will. Oh, multi. Does someone have a bit of a crush on our warlock here? I say. Will is rather tasty. He, he is rather tasty. All the characters are. How do they expect me to play this game when everyone's so hot? It has the same problem as Dragon Age. I've seen on TikTok what happens. Yeah. It does get very brutal. This game does not hold back with the grisly cutscenes. Some of the things that you see. Okay. Well, we found Karlak. I feel like it might be a time for us all to take a long rest. And Karlak will be here. Oh, hello. Hell's fire. She's coming. What? Oh. Demon mummy. And you know what happens when you're naughty. Gods damn it. Anyone but her. Wait, wait, wait. Who in the Nine Hells are you? Or I can flirt with Devil Mummy. Well, well. Aren't you a luscious thing? I'm not sure if that will go well for me. Gods damn devil, get out of my camp. Just who in the Nine Hells are you? Well, you absolute stinker you kept me a secret oh. hmm. time to let the hellcat out of the bag call me mazora i'm will's patron the fount of his power my pet's been unruly and his leash needs a yank oh no we had a deal will but Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupsters found his bark. Clause G, section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria, pet. Trust me on this. Oh no, it was in the contract. Get to the point, devil. What do you want? 
If we kill Karlak now, will that get rid of you? You better not lay a damn finger on Karlak. Blast it all, Will. Why didn't you tell me about her? Get to the point. What do you want? The point? Oh, yes. Thanks for the reminder. Will burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. Wait, what? That's better. What the hells have you done? The price oh my God. broken, the price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. She made him now, horny. Let's it's true. see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. <sighs> oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. Well, well, well. Oh, we have two very horny party members now. Well, they weren't kidding when they said they reworked Will's story. That's that's new. Adding a bit of intrigue there. Let's go talk to him. He's got the horns permanently now. God damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right. And Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock pacts tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. half Druus and devil packs. You're not worth the soil you stand on. What did you expect? She's a devil. Hardly the paragon of honesty. Yeah, the Blade of Frontiers has some explaining to do. I'll say what I can, but it won't be enough. It's Mizora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast Eldritch Blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call Hell Beasts and summon festering clouds, but I promise you, Every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. How in the hells did you get involved with Mizura? Oh, I, I, I bet it was because he had a crush. Ah, the one little question that put me hmm. out of house and home. I wonder. I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact. I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Mm. Yeah, so Will's patron didn't appear in camp. That didn't happen in the original. Will definitely didn't sprout horns in the original. And it also took much longer for everything about Will to be revealed. Like it was it was very slow. He was just kind of very mysterious for a while and we didn't really know what his deal was. And then it comes out much later. So this is all happening early on in the beginning. And I guess I feel a little bit more sorry for him than I did on the first playthrough. Hello, Starry. How are you doing, my love? Oh, you have your camp outfit on. Chat will be delighted to see it again. There you are. Hi. I was just thinking about you and that delicious moment we shared the other night. Mm. The moment you bit me. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want to like maybe not just use me for my blood? Like we could actually go on a date or something. 
I have a horrible feeling he's just using me. The very same. I've had this condition for two centuries, but truth be told, <clears throat> you are my first. Oh, I don't believe that for In a second. In all these years, I've only ever fed on beasts. That's a lie. Drinking the blood of Roll for thinking deception. creatures is a different thing entirely. You were delectable. And now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. Starry. You're looking at other necks. I'm hurt. Don't worry. There's enough of me to go around. I'm a man of tremendous appetites. Mm -hmm. I don't think they'd volunteer, no. of course. But it doesn't make me any less curious. Stop lying Take to me. Dale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined like well-aged brandy. Okay. But the gift? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. Dirt and protein shake, I bet. Something exotic, surely. Uh, an amnon liqueur? Maybe? I guess. Only a suggestion. Oh. Well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. This is all theoretical, right? Could I convince you to kill someone less useful? Yeah, is this, is this theoretical? Are we just uh, having some fun here? <laughs> Absolutely. A mere thought experiment. Ah, you are an intellectual after so, Yes. in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? Hmm. Are you really asking which of our companions that I eat? I'd risk Karlak. Probably will. Be tempted to try Lazelle. Ooh, I think Shadowheart would be rather juicy. Dark and rich. Like a rum. I'd go for some shadow heart. Like, maybe like a bit of nuttiness going on there as well. Yeah, Carlac's a bit too spicy for me. Like, I, I think I, I'm not into spicy. I can't take any kind of seasoning, so. She's literally on fire, so I don't know if I, I'd go for that. Yeah, Carlac would be hot sauce. Spicy, spicy bomb hot sauce. If I had to, Shadowheart. A fine choice. She is enticing. Mm -hmm. Although, the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. Yes. I didn't mean to encourage you. Well, good hunting. Uh, there's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. Uh, sweet dreams. <laughs> Come find me tonight. I'll let you have another suck suck. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. Well, speaking of Shadow Heart, we probably should have a chat with her. She didn't come along with us, so she might be wondering what's going on with Karlak. Karlak and Will seem to have put their differences aside. I thought it was going to come to blows for a moment. I want to talk about all that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up? In your estimations. I must admit, you've been a surprise. Okay. She still has the same and opinion. Not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? I like Shadowheart. I don't want her to turn out to be who I think she's gonna be. <laughs> but only time will tell. Oh, are you? What the hell was that, Karlak? Was that like a disco joint? I'll be honest, soldier. I'm really little dancey dance. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. So you like Will? No hard feelings. He's a good man. Maybe the best of us. Well, I wouldn't say that. You must be relieved. Gobsmacked, really. But grateful. Really grateful. 
I could learn a thing or two from a man like that. Hopefully we won't turn into mind flayers first. Fingers crossed. Got anything else to say? Yeah. So, I'm I'm full of questions. Oh my god. Uh How did you end up fighting in the Blood War? Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. Right. Okay. Mizura said you fit the criteria for Will to Hunt. What did she mean by that? Help me kill those paladins of Tear, and I'll tell you. A bit of good gossip for your good help. I already know why. It's because she's technically heartless. She has an infernal heart. So she fits she fits the criteria in the contract. In your expert opinion, what is the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a huh? knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what All are we right, talking about? demon lady. Uh, well, uh, you and Mizora seem to know each other. How? And it didn't seem like you two were friends. We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. Hmm. Just because you escaped. <gasps> I see that some things have happened during the cutscene. Let me replay the alert. So you ready? Whoa. Come on. Yeah. Play that album pack. Welcome to the Wisp, Kiwada. Hopefully I'm, I'm not completely butchering your name there, but a very warm welcome to the Wisps. I hope you enjoy your newfound immortality. For the small price of your soul, you now have eternal life for the next 30 days. Enjoy your glorious ad-free viewing, all of those elf emotes in chat, and uh, obviously the immortality comes in kind of handy. And we just had this happen. Are you ready? Oh, lovely! The most beautiful British elf I've oh. ever seen. Smiley face. Flattery will get you somewhere, Ari. Thank you so much for the shiny coins. I really appreciate it. You didn't have to do that. Chucking those coins at me. Even Lord Sheagorath was much pleased. Thank you. And yes, flattery will get you somewhere. How dare you compliment me? Shocking behaviour. Do you think she'll keep coming after you? I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. I can see why you were so keen to escape. <sighs> no kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. <laughs> it had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. Yeah. And no loyalty whatsoever. As soon as she was asked to hunt you down, she did. Hmm. Yeah, about those paladins. Who are they? Yeah, let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress up as paladins of Tyr. Oh. No honor among devils. That makes sense. Wait, 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 wait. Does that mean they killed everyone on the bridge and they were lying? <gasps> but they were so nice to me. Well, this isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? I mean... I'd be back at home. Not a care in the world. In the middle of the forest, by myself, talking to some squirrels. Oh, man. Lucky you. That's the dream. 
Maybe when this is all done, you can show me where you came from. My family home's long gone, but I'll show you my favorite chow hall in the city, if it's still standing. She's so lovely. I don't understand how she's still so nice, despite everything that happened to her. I would have thought it would have hardened her somewhat and she wouldn't be so trusting of people. But she's still like, oh, thank you so much for everything you did for me. I really appreciate it. Well, like, bless you. You thought she would have lost all faith in humanity. She has no business being this wholesome, exactly. Yeah, I, I would have thought that she would just be broken. And if not broken, just be very jaded about the world. Check out the front of Carlex's tent. She has a little teddy bear? Oh, I didn't mean to steal your teddy bear. I just, I'm just having a look. He's called Clive? Where's he gone? A knitted toy bear stuffed with fur. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to take it. Um, sorry. I don't want to throw it at you, but let me drop it down again. There you go. I'll put him back where he belongs. There you go. You can have a chat with him. You two can have a tea party. Rotting basket. Nice. Nothing else, really. I mean, she's keen on the wine and the drinking. And uh, not really a clean freak from what I can see. There's literal trash everywhere. So she doesn't keep her bedroll nice and tidy. In comparison to Gail's tent. Everything's very orderly. He's got his book stacked up there. What a bookworm. How you doing, Gail? A devil and devil hunter standing shoulder to shoulder against a common enemy. Rather poetic, I think. Kind of. I guess. Huxifer! Huxifer, are you the more wholesome brother of Lucifer? And instead of damning people to hell for eternity, you damn them to a life of unstoppable hugs, unlimited cuddles. Thank you so much. A very warm welcome to the Wisps. Enjoy being an immortal for the next 30 days. For the small price of your soul, you now have a beautiful sub badge in chat, as well as ad free viewing and access to all of our emotes as well. Thank you for supporting an elf. Got anything else to say to me, well? Well met. Hello. How does it feel to be a devil? It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. Mm -mm. I feel the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? Quite the handsome devil, if I do say so. A freak of nature. Ugh, my gods, you're hideous. A fiend who's been touched by the hells. I don't know what to make of it. You're pretty, pretty goddamn handsome devil. They really suit you, actually. Um, you look even better with the horns, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can't tell if you're being silly or serious. I'll accept the flattery either way. I'm serious. I suppose they I'll look grow good. used to the new me. Horns and all. The people will see a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters. Keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. Aha! We will reclaim your honor. You know you really should get out of this pack now, but I know they're more of a until death kind of dealy a possibility that's kept me awake countless nights but i don't have a clue where to start other than play her games and play by the rules that's the only language devils listen to the 
There must be some kind of loophole in the contract. Something that lets you out. They she can't well disobey be. her own contract. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. We could blackmail the her. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We can beat her. If we just put our worms together. We'll see if it's worth it. We might need the pact after all. Let's beat her. We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. Now, Will, um, you mentioned something about there being some discomfort in other places since this ailment befell you. And since I am a, a qualified doctor, let me just let me just see if I can do an examination here. Sharp as ever. Right, so I'm just going to need you to take off your underpants. Right, so whereabouts were the ridges um, that you, you said you were having trouble with? Right, um, I can't see anything obvious. If you could point me in the right direction. Yeah, no, um, seems to be all the normal kinds of lumps and bumps there. Uh, but do keep an eye on the area. Uh, I've got some Savlon if you want to keep applying that. And uh, I'll see you in a month's time, all right? Thank you so much. I had to check. He, he, said, he, he said he had some unusual riches moment. elsewhere. I'm just checking on my party's health, okay? Ridged for her pleasure. I mean, to step. I, I just had to check. I, I am I am a medical professional for, for science. Mm hmm. I care about my party's well-being. Just because you don't care. I bet you didn't do a health check on Will when he mentioned that. Anyway, how's everyone doing? Oh, Lazel, we haven't talked to you. Karlax got the brawn of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. Oh, I didn't expect for those two to get on. I really didn't. Although, I guess they're both very direct, just in different ways. They're both honest. Although, Lazelle is brutally honest, and, and she will just say anything to your face. Karlak's honest in more of a... I guess just a wholesome way. Like, she'll just tell you how she feels. She doesn't hide anything. So... I didn't think about it before, but they're actually quite similar in different ways. Karlak needs to come with us when we go on the next mission. Hey, Buzz! When do the drops start? So you might have already got the drop. Uh, if you've already got the camp set of clothing, which is kind of like this, but with a top <laughs> that goes with it, then uh, that's the only drops they have for Baldur's Gate 3 at the moment. So you might have already redeemed it and you might already have it. But if you haven't already got it, and you know it's not already in your Twitch Drops inventory, then do make sure you link your Larian account with your Twitch account, and then you'll start getting the drop as well. I remember something purple. Yeah, if you go to twitch.tv slash drops in your address bar, it should show you all the drops that you've gotten so far. And if you have already got the camp set, that was the only drop they were offering for Baldur's Gate 3. So you've already got it, but you know, feel free to stick around anyway. Be good to have you around. And if anyone hasn't got it already, you can get the uh, the camp clothing set. Let me see. Do I have it in my chest at the moment for you guys to see? I do. The Chatterbox Tabard. So this set is um, from Twitch Drops. There you go. It looks a little bit different on the male. For the male, it looks a bit like Astarian's default gear, which um, <laughs> you can't really see at the moment. But it looks kind of like Astarian's default doublet, but in purple. looks pretty cute on the female as well though i like it i like a, a corset inspired look yeah the campaign's lasting a while i'm not sure when it actually ends but you've got time if you haven't got the drop yet you can just go to your larian account just google larian account log in there it might ask you to link it with your steam and then just go to the linked account section 
and press the button to link it with Twitch. You don't even have to log into Twitch. If you're already logged into Twitch on another tab, it will just do it automatically. I think the drops end on the 18th. Mayhaps, mayhaps. That would make sense because I think that would be like two weeks after Baldur's Gate launched. So yeah, plenty of time to earn them. Or you can just take all of your party members' clothes off. Like I did, because I'm a real professional. We have a little bit of a, an inventory problem going on here. Oh, hi, Moglet. Hello. <laughs> Someone's here to say hello. Let me see if I can move that camera up a bit. She sat a bit skew -if. Oh, hello, my mighty fine sausage. How are you doing? She's a bit confused because... Oh, <laughs> oh now she's like, Mum's noticed me. I bet it's treat time. Do you want treats? <sighs> there was a treat redeem at the start of stream, so I'll allow it. All right, treats for Mog. Oh, would you like some disgusting sardine bites? Disgusting. This is Moogle, if you've not met her before. Yes, she is named after Moogles from Final Fantasy. She's my little void creature. Hello! Have you come straight from Avernus to grace us with your presence? Oh! Hello! Does it smell good? To me, it smells terrible. But, you know. <laughs> Thank you for the tail in my face. Okay. Here you go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that treat broke in half. That one's not good. You can have another one. Oh. What's this? Okay. You want to go back on cat camp? Ah! <laughs> oh no, I'm pretty sure I just dropped it on the floor. Okay. Right. Here you go. Ready? Oh, I missed again. Well, it's okay. You can just hunt for them. Okay, ready? Oh. There's now two treats in there. Two tweets. Enjoy. But what if she needs the bowl? She can eat the treats in the bowl. But yeah, the the cat bowl has moved a little bit because it used to. I used to put it here, like right next to me, and now she's got a little corner over there. Oh yes. She greatly enjoys this. No, that's my water. I got that for me. Does anyone else have cats who, whenever you have a glass of water anywhere, they just stick their head in it and they're like, "Oh, thanks, you got me a drink." Literally. Anytime, anytime I get a drink for myself, she's like, thanks. I was thirsty and everything. Cheers. Luckily, her face didn't go right into it, so we're good. Mmm. Even green tea. Yep, she loves a green tea. She, she loves green tea. It's probably not very good for her. She loves green tea. She also eats McDonald's chips. She loves them. She begs for them. Love a good void creature. Sit sprite. Enemy of darkness, raven kitty and the like. Creature straight from Avernus. No, don't. Now she's trying to open the treat drawer. Would you, would you like, would you like to save Faerun? No? Are you gonna go sit in your throne again? No, not my drink. I think she's trying to tell me though that it's 8.42 and I am precisely 42 minutes late in feeding her dinner. So I probably should go and sate the void. Otherwise she will consume us all and there will be no hope for any of us. So I will return very shortly. I'm gonna go and fill up the void's bowl. Why, hello there, Humes. I hope you're enjoying the best view in Theron. It really is the best landscape that we could ever ask for. I was just explaining uh, the law reasons for this particular outfit for uh, Astarian. Um, so he's actually allergic to clothes. So for those of you who are being mean to him and calling him manslut, it's actually for very important law reasons. Um, he's, he's allergic to most clothing and this is the only comfortable thing he can wear. It, it breaks my heart. 
I wish we could give him real clothes, but it makes him itchy and uncomfortable, and he's just happier than I've ever seen him when he's wearing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He actually photosynthesizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He breathes through his skin. <laughs> he's like quiet. <laughs> Why, hello there. If it isn't the Lady Ophelia, the thirstiest wench of them all. Diddly, 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 diddly. Why, hello there, Ophelia. Oh, what happy chance that you should catch me at a moment like this. Uh, we're just, we're just um, enjoying uh, this lovely view of uh, the river, the river, the, the lovely, lovely scenic, scenic river. Nice, nice river over at Starry. Come on, can't give up now. Oh, well, he, he's determined to be center of attention, which, you know, he deserves anyway. Thank you so much for 69 months. What a time to have a 69 month subscription. Only Ophelia. Thank you for supporting me along this whole crazy journey that has been Twitch. I've known you for absolute yonks, and I'm so glad that we are still friends after all this time. Welcome back. There's your mushiness, but now, A69. Nice. If anyone doesn't follow Ophelia, go and fix this immediately. She does all sorts of awesome things here on the internet. She does VTubing now as well. And she also happens to be my DM for Roseless Travels. ESO d, &D campaign. We've had a bit of a hiatus for a while. Everyone's been so busy. There's a lot going on for all of us. But I look forward to getting back to our Ordinary chaos very soon. <laughs> Have you played Baldi's yet, Ophelia? Kind of curious to see what you go for. I do you predict it's going to be some sort of dark elf, though. It's going to be like a dark elf sorcerer or something of that description. I bet. I'm not actually sure who your Baldur's Gate crush is. Why do I feel like you might be a Shadowheart girly? Probably. I think I've talked to everyone now, so we should probably get going to bed. Starry might come for a nibble again, we'll see. Although, I want to take... I think I want to take Karlak with us next, so... I might get Will to leave the party for now. Well met. You've had your big moment, Will. Leave for now. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. The blade stands at the ready. It's all right, you go have a rest. Remain here. And just when things were warming up... Go. And then we're gonna get Carlac. Hmm. Uh, come on, we're heading out. Let's go, go, go. Go, go, go. Uh, such a babe. She's so raring to go. Double surprise! Cat hair on my face and a tip towards the glorious Kindle Dream. Is that from Magnus again? Holy butts! He strikes again. Thank you so much. Keeping the Kindle Dream alive. <gasps> We're 65% of the way to the Kindle Dream. Thank you. Thank you for always supporting uh, my, my bookish obsession. Astarian is an appreciator of books as well. I think we should get Astarian a Kindle. And then he wouldn't have to lug all these books around, you know? I wonder what he's reading about. I bet it's smut. I bet it is. Knowing him. F5. Oh, carla has got level up. Maybe two, because she's a new party member. Barbarian level two. Danger sense. You sense when things aren't as they should be. You have advantage on dexterity saving throws against traps, spells, and surfaces. To gain this benefit, you can't be blinded or incapacitated. Oh yeah, reckless attack. That's pretty good. Okay. Well, I always like when we level up our melee characters because they have very, very simple level ups. It's like you don't have to choose anything. <laughs> you literally just go, yup. You've got more health, yup. You've got a new ability. There's no spell choices, so enjoy. Level three. 
Ooh, subclasses now, though. Oh. Wild heart. Your attunement with nature and its beasts inspires your rage, empowering you with a supernatural might. Which gives you speak with animals, which... Yeah. At the moment, that perk isn't very useful because I can literally transform into an animal, but later down the line, there might be something else. Berserker. Violence is both a means and an end. You follow a path of untrammeled fury, slick with blood as you thrill in the chaos of battle, heedless of your own well-being. I think I'm gonna go full berserker, but wild magic is fun too. The wild influence of magic has transformed you, suffusing you with an arcane power that churns within you, waiting to be released. Oh, oh these are fun though, because wild magic is totally random. So, if you're playing in an actual D&D &D campaign and using wild magic, there's a great big list, like a numbered list of effects that can happen, both good things and bad things. And when you try and cast with it, you do a roll and whatever number you hit, it does that random magic wild effect. So uh, it's quite fun to play around with. I'm gonna go Berserker though. I wanna smash things. I wanna, I wanna see her absolutely obliterate everyone. So smash for her. Let's do this. Oh, night night you better get to bed since it's not Saturday today, but it is in fact Wednesday. No, it's Friday today. It's the weekend tomorrow. You can stay up until the early hours of the morning. Roll for deception. Nice thing about Wild Heart is that it gives you a choice of piercings. Really? Hmm. I didn't know that. That's cool that they added some cosmetic changes as well. All right. To bed. What's for dinner? Oh, go on, have some poutine. Poutine and paella with some carrots. Seems too healthy. Uh, sausage, anyone? Oh my gosh, you can eat the owlbear egg. Oh no. I wonder if there's any way I can hatch it. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. It will do an auto select for me. There we go. Night comes. Ah, <sighs> oh, a peaceful night. <gasps> Doggo! Doggo, you're here! Did you finally leave your master? He's been dead for some time, Doggo. I'm sorry to say. He's good boy! He's good boy! He's good boy! Will's a dog person. I'm not even surprised. <laughs> Aww. Oh, boy. Okay, well, I'm going to leave for now, but I would like to talk with you. I don't want to use a charge of my world shape, but I think it's worthy. What does he think about cats? I wondered this. Will he chase cats, or can we be friends? Bark. Oh. Okay. Can I not talk to him as an animal anymore? Ah, it just shapes me back. Hmm. Maybe I have to be a wolf? I don't know. I talked to him as a wolf before, but I was wondering if cat would work too. <laughs> if I meow, he howls back. Hello. Oh, he won't talk to me. Ow! I guess maybe I have to be a wolf. to try for reasons. Not scary at all. Not intimidating. Hello, friends. You want to chat? I want to have a word. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Aw. Why am I transforming again? That's rude. 
I'm gonna reload just so that I don't waste my weld shapes because that did not prove to work at all. I managed to get an owlbear cub as a pet as well and Scratch is so adorable with him. Yeah, there is a way to um, hatch the owlbear. Um, I think it's back at camp. I need to go and have a look around. A star and you put some trousers on right now, young man. Oh, but darling, these are trousers. They're just very comfortable. And they air all the important things. How much further can I go? Seems like a good moment to talk. Good boy. Everyone approves. Good boy. If anyone disapproved of me petting the dog, they would be out of my party right now. Hey, good boy. There's got to be an achievement for petting him a certain number of times. Like 100 doggo pets. He's such a good boy. Hmm. I did see a bull here ages ago, but I saw. I don't know where it was. I think it was near the middle of camp. Silver spoon. Storage box. Bull! It's there. Can I throw it for him? <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, boy. You ready? Let me see. Okay. I'm gonna throw it. Ready? Hey, where'd you go? Hey! Boy! Oh, there you are. <laughs> he doesn't seem to care that much. <laughs> Hang on. Maybe I have to be closer. Come on. <laughs> He's not interested. Squeak, squeak. Come on. It's an amazing toy, Scratch. Go on. He's like, I've forgotten how to be a proper dog. I was too busy looking after Master. Oh no. Remember the joy in life, Scratch. Come on. Aww. Well, maybe at some point. He's probably a bit sad right now. I wanted to ask Dawn, have you ever played any social deduction games like Among Us? I asked because I wanted to recommend one, but I wasn't sure if you played them or not. Oh, absolutely. I played a lot of Among Us back when Among Us was going really viral. Like I played it almost every single day. And then I've also played various tabletop deduction games. Um, I'm trying to remember the names of all of them. But the one where there's a hidden Merlin, uh, the one where there's like, oh, hello. <sighs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Sudden table jumping, hi Mog. The, the one where you have three rooms of people and then one person is secretly a bomber and their objective is to end in the same room as the person who's the president. I played that one. I um, can't remember the names of anything else. Oh, um, ah, Cthulhu inspired. You're on a ship. Unfathomable. I've played Unfathomable which is really good. You're on a ship and there are like Cthulhu monsters attacking and one of you is actually in league with the dark forces, but you don't know who it is. That's really good too. So yeah, all the recommendations, throw them at me. Mog, are you really gonna sit there? Is that, okay. I kind of need my mouse handkin. It's kind of important for playing the video games. Okay, leaving camp. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's so funny? Hey, yeah. Uh. Oh, oh, a star was about to say something. I cut him off. <laughs> What's so funny? No, I wish I knew. Sorry. I just immediately talked to her to find out why, but a star is like, huh? Well, I'm guessing she's just happy to be back out on the open road. Free and Roman once again. You know, Carlock, I think we should help you sort out these people who want to hunt you down. Where did he say they went? Up north somewhere? 
Ah, the paladins. They're in the toll house. They're the people we talked to before. It was all up front. Now, Karlak, are we allowed to sneak in there or do you just want to go in all guns blazing? What if we... Okay, let's leave Karlak outside for now. All right. What and now? I kind of want to see if I go in there and talk to them, see if anything changes. If they're like, oh, did you find the devil yet? Oh, hello, good paladins. Our scouts told us you'd come. <gasps> Devil's ally. They know. Come to finish us, have you? You must mean Karlak. I know the truth about what you are. That depends on you. Are you what she says you are? I'm sure she's invented a fascinating history of our crimes. The truth is far simpler. Hmm. We are paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. Don't think Karlak. so. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. Say I buy your story. What then? Then you'd be very stupid indeed. Poor Karlak. Mm. Allied with the first sap she met, who will be so quickly destroyed. Zariel will find this all terribly funny. And roll for initiative. Okay, well, Karlak. Trin used Arrow of Lightning on Gale. Trin used 11 to hit. They rolled 21. Shit. Um, sure, you've got four portent die. May as well use them. Damn it! <laughs> Trin used Arrow of Lightning on Gale. Gurney's 12 to save. They rolled 11. Uh, sure. Yeah! Okay, well, this is going well already. Karlak, come on, get your butt in here. I want to see you charging into battle. Oh, she's got cleave. Well, this is going to be fun. Let's go. She's in. Okay. Blood comes easy these days. My turn. I mean, I could just immediately transform into an animal. Let's see. Oh, fudge nuggets. I did not mean to press next turn. This is going so well. I keep doing that. I keep pressing space to like cancel an action when I mean not to do that. Well, Gail, we know you like to get things greasy. Also, there is a candelabra thing that could come down there. So, fire there. Next turn, I'll run away. You can unpass a turn, can you? What now? Cancel end turn. This? Oh, Mac, you're a gem. Thank you so much. Oh, that's going to save my butt so many times because I'm very clumsy. Okay, so if I leave... Oh, now I wish I cast the grease here because I could have brought the candelabra down. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Thornwick, wild shape, maybe. I can thorn whip him into the boxes and I think that'll do bonus damage. But I kind of want to get out of here. He, I'm not in range of his attack. So if Need I go back here, uh, I can thorn whip and run technically, but let me entangle them in the grease. So they'll be trapped in there. Oh, somehow that also lit it on fire. Amazing. Magnus! Magnus is really going at it with the Kindle Dream today. Thank you so much. Holy heck. Let me let me have a look. See if there was a message with it as well. What? We're 70% funded on the Kindle now. The Kindle bath dream. It's so close I can almost smell it. <laughs> bath bombs. Lost book. It's actually waterproof, that Kindle, so you, you can straight up take it in the bath. I never understood how people couldn't read physical books in the bath. Like, every time I've tried, I've got something wet. <laughs> Thank you. You are too kind as always, King Book Nerd. Okay. 
Shalala. I can do that because it's the cantrip, so. Shalala and ten. And Gale. Ooh, if you want to be really fancy, you could Misty Step up here. And then you've got Vantage. Ready for next turn. Oh, darling, you should be stealthing. Hmm, you could get round the back. Would be very smart if you could avoid the vision cone there. Love it. All right. Can you get through these doors, darling? Sneakily now. And that will go into the back here. Uh, okay, I don't think she's going to see us, but these barrels are very annoying. Hmm. Well, back, back way it is. Keep going. And now it's their turn. Oh, he's fast. But so bad at hitting. What is he doing? Oh. Sense hidden. Carlax being held. Oh, no. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you're going to regret doing that. If I have more AoEs, you will regret doing that. But as it stands, I don't. So, ha. Huh? <laughs> Samus Crankpork, wow. Why does that kind of remind me of a Hobbit name? Samus, thank you so much for your soul. I will keep it very safe indeed. Oh my gosh, and Avid. The wisps, they're flying everywhere today. Welcome to the wisps, you two. Thank you for handing over your soul. I'll keep it very safe. And in return, your soul has now been transmuted into a shiny, bright creature formed of soul energy known as a wisp. Enjoy the immortality as well as glorious ad free viewing and all of those elven emotes. And thank you for supporting an elf. I very much appreciate it. Double subble. If anyone has recently subscribed as well, you have some extra perks over on Gilded, which is our chat server of choice. And you should definitely go and check those out. We have some secret channels. Oh God, what is this thing that she's put on me? Hunter's Mark. Uh, affected entity suffers 1d6 additional damage if the spellcaster hits with a weapon attack. Fabulous. And she's got 30 health. Uh, Gale. Hideous laughter on the ranged attack one. Not enough movement? Do I have to be close for hideous laughter? Damn it. Uh, really? Range. 80 meters, damn it. Uh, yeah. Well, this is 13.6 when I do that. Can I, like, okay, if I go to the end, I'll be out of line of sight at least for next turn. And then can I cast this from here? No! Damn it. <sighs> Well, can I arrange to attack this next turn? Maybe. Hmm. I can get it now. Just make it even harder for them to move around. Time to kill. Time to kill. All right, darling. Let's put your dash on. Oh, here's a gun. There we go. Quickly. Run, run, run. As fast as you can. Well, we're not going very fast at all, are you, honey? Come on. Come on. By the time he gets in there, combat's going to be over. But I'm always determined to use his stealth. Can't even catch my breath. A thorn will whip him. Whip him back. Oh, that pulls it closer. Damn it. I mean, he could try a push. Try a shove. Shove him back in the fire. Ah, failed. Well, it was worth a try. I'm tempted to go... Beastie, but I've already done my bonus action. Okay. Whip him! Get whipped upon! 
Oh, he's going for Carla. <gasps> Wait, 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 wait. It was because she was also stunned as well, I think, that it crit so much. Let me look at the combat log, though. Oh. And is down Karlak. Karlak was hit for 20 radiant damage and 25 slashing damage. And it was Divine Smite that did it. Oh, because it does slashing and radiant damage. Oh, no. Okay, Astarin, you better start carrying your weight. Come on, let's go. Big dash, big dash. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Yes, here. Come on, come on, come on. Get inside. Okay, well, may as well have gone the other way now because the vision cones are all this way. <laughs> but this is fine. Uh, you might be able to do a ranged attack next turn. Just get behind the door. <laughs> Why are you complaining? You you stood in something, darling. Oh god damn it, Gail, are you Sometimes dead? The only way out is through. Oh, Jeebus. Well. <sighs> He's horrible. I really shouldn't be fighting him on my own over here. X Let's go bear. I'm gonna maul the fucker. He'll wish he never messed with me. Or maybe he won't. I don't know. Run Next. away. I mean, run towards. Oh, my concentration is broken. Of course it is, because I'm being... I need to plan this out better. Okay, 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 okay. Now we know what the heck is going to happen when they actually go into combat. Let's make sure that Carlike is actually in the room once we go in to talk to them. Because she was miles away at that point. And... Being cheeky, I can now position all of my ranged upstairs, ready to strike. And then I can just bait them to come out the door. Okay, let's try that again. Praise be to F5, our divine overlord. Long live F5. The first time I fought Anders, he one-shot Karlak and my paladin before I even got a turn. Well, he's definitely one-shot Karlak now. Something good here, I hope. Okay, so Astarian, you should go around no the back. For the wicked, I see. Gale, you should as well. Charmed, I'm sure. See if no you guys can get around, up to so might as well. the level huh? together. Okay. Watch the shadows. Come on, you two. Boys trip. Damn, they're tough. They are. Just gotta find the right way to deal with them. I don't think there's anyone up this ladder here. And they don't really care that I'm up here because... Oh no, maybe they know now. Because he knew as soon as I started the conversation, so... Stealthy stealth? Let's keep to the shadows. Okay, okay. Just like old times. Not just like old times, eh? Alright, okay. Well, you know, actually... This logically, I should probably go downstairs so I can stab people. Oh, <gasps> Gail, move your ass! God damn it, they almost found you. Okay, you guys stay here. Okay. And then we're gonna come in. Oh my god, sass them, Karlak. I want Karlak to have the conversation, she deserves it. Gail, move your ass! Oi, wizard gizzard! Get that butt if you going! Assist. He likes to stand in the way a lot. Okay, here goes nothing. You brought her here! Yes! We for won't a tea survive party! Another assault. Leave us in peace, and we shall leave you in kind. Stop the Cut bullshit. The crap, Anders. Thank you. I know what you are. Yeah, Don't well, let no. her hurt us! Please. Oh no. We just want to go home. Oh, so sad. Oh. Assess his posture. His eyes. Is he telling the truth? Oh, I'm, I'm assessing his posture right now. There's something funky going on here. Did you see his leg twitch? That's not natural. Oh! 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 Oh no, there's definitely something wrong with him. Oh! Oh! 
that's not how human bones should go. Whoa! Yeah, no, no, I'm assessing that posture immediately. Natural 20! What is with all my natural 20s recently? I... There's something in the squint what is of happening? his eye. You suspect he's lying. Enough of this charade. I know who you really are. I know what that leg twitch belies. Enough! Enough! I'll not play pretend anymore. Karlak, you're going home in pieces if needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! Yeah! I'm so glad I brought her for that conversation this time. Ah, uh, arrow of lightning on bear whisper. I rolled a four. That's nice. Let's try again. Oh! oh wait, did I just re-roll for my enemy? Because technically the game thinks we're still friendly with them. Ah! Uh, wait, 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 wait. So I, I think in some ways it still thinks they're friendly NPCs because it was giving me a chance to re-roll her roll to hit myself. What is going on there? Zach, 51 months of immortality shining brightly as ever and thank you so much for that above and beyond tier three i really appreciate it as well as the terrible puns are you ready for a pun <clears throat> my wife is really mad at the fact that i have no sense of direction so i packed up my stuff and write i haven't heard that one before that's actually pretty good i might put that in my pun library mm. i like that hidden dm mode yeah i, I don't know what's going on here <laughs> Let's go and ace that again. Natural 20, let's go! If I get a natural 20 again, something's got to be wrong. Because I got three in a row last stream. You brought her here. Cut. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We just want to go home. Still pretty good. There's something in the squint of his eye. You suspect he's lying. Of course he is. Enough. Avernus was never my home. Let it her say her prison. piece again. Yeah. I'm free now. And I'm never going back. Hit him. I love how we're just in the doorway for this conversation. Okay. Well, apparently I already have 15 health. What the heck? Uh... I'm going to be a bear. Bear time. Very nice. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I don't want to get in the way of Carlite, but I also want to charge in there and rip their throats out. So I might just Light go here. My feet. Hello. Raw, attack me. Oh. Bear Whisper used Goading Raw on Anders. Ander needs, Anders needs a 13 to save. They rolled a 12. Well, then, of course, I'm not going to help Anders because that's my enemy. <laughs> He's goaded. I need to watch out for that. Can I throw a Void Bulb as a bear? Oh, no. Not really. Okay. All right, Kalak. Let's get him. Oh, so I can rage already. Your rage turns into a frenzy. You gain frenzied strike and a rage throw. You can also make an improvised weapon attack as a bonus action. <laughs> but I've got to keep attacking to keep it up. Uh, let's get you close by. So you can do some real damage. Sacrifice movement speed to deal an additional... Oh no, I need to get there, so let's go. Tactical. Tactical, I like it. Shove him. Lacerate him. Oh, not enough movement. I mean, you probably shoot him from here, though. Damn table. 
Legacy of Avernus. Searing Smite. Oh my god. Deal an extra 2 to 12 fire damage and set your set your target on fire. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing that next turn for sure. Ah. I wasn't sure if I'd end up using Karlak, but um, I think I might be. <laughs> Okay then. Um, I think I might be dead. <laughs> it's okay, Karlak will help me. Burn him up, Karlak! Let them feel the hatred of the fires of hell! Karlak cast Legacy of Avernus, searing my on Anders. She rolled a seven. Or I can do Reckless Attack to gain advantage. But that will also give him advantage against me. So portent dice, let's, let's use them. Yeah. We love to see it. She's, she's very wounded though. I can't help myself this turn. Can I? I'm out of actions. Do I have any cantrips? Oh no, just Thaumaturgy. Okay. Anders used Divine Smite. They need 13 to hit and roll 24. Oh, okay, so wait, wait, wait. I, I see the, the whole thing with this. So if an enemy rolls well, I can also use this to make sure that they roll badly as well. Sure. He missed! Yay! Great success. What the hell are they? Ah, oh, they're mages. Oh, yo, yo, no. We don't need any more mages up here, thanks. We've we've got a we've got one. That's enough. They're still hiding. Gale is not hiding. <laughs> I just realized the Twitch integration thing was something I needed to close, not the streamer. Yeah, it looks like the game UI, doesn't it? They've done a really good job with it. But yeah, you can close it if you don't want it all over the screen. There's a meme going around. Advantage. Reason. Barbarian. The damage is insane. Like, they're strong from early on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Allow me to Are you guys telling me you could have joined in this entire time? The dance macabre. Oh, yeah, they just haven't entered combat yet, I don't think. Right? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what fools these hey, mortals old. be. If I wasn't there, I'd say bring that down, Gale. But this is more your concern right now. Why don't you try a Witch Bolt? 35% chance, high defense. Target is out of line of sight. Hideous laughter? 45%. Do I have anything that can lower their defense, I wonder? had a couple of like poisons and things like that but oh heck i'll take my chances most excellent yes it's working okay so she's now stunned for a turn i'm just gonna shut the door bye <laughs> oh, oh it tickles oh and gail you can go here um uh, yeah you okay garlic wreck him I'm going to do a lacerate. He'll bleed for two turns as well. <laughs> and then push him because she's pretty strong. She can she can get him back. There we go. And now GTFO. Like if you have to climb that ladder, just get out of the way. Uh, I wish I could heal you. Well, I've got healing potions, but... Oh, blimey. This is going so well. Oh! I 
thought my plan was flawless. Alas, it was not. Okay, Gail, do something useful. Uh, I mean, Witch Bolt is pretty nice. That's a 60% chance to hit. He's nearly dead, though. Only eight more damage and you kill him. You could take your chances with a cantrip. <laughs> She's having a good time out there. Um, I can cast it at level two as well, but that's a waste. Let me, let me play a ball. There we go. He's done for. I am dead dead, I think. Oh no, I'm still moving. I'm still moving. Oh god, help Astarian! Go help Astarian! Don't get too close. He can't until next turn, but... She's still laughing. She will be for like 10 turns, so that's okay. And then we just got the one down here to deal with. Oh god. Please don't shoot again. She's recovered. Okay, help him up. You're okay, Starry. You're alright. It's gonna be just fine. Well, have you got healing potions? No, but someone has. Drink as Gale. There you go. And then, ah, I guess Astarian can throw a healing potion down there on his next turn. Not really much more that I can do now that I've helped Starry. Let's have some courage. Let's have some courage. Let's have some healing potions, darling. Heal? Uh, I've probably got to search through all the inventories. Anything looking juicy there? I'd say get Karlak up. can throw it um do i have to drop it and then throw it is that gonna work oh technically it's not in his inventory so send to a starian and then starry starry cannot throw because he's already used his action aye, aye, aye. switch to the bow and can you can you do anything about this situation? Not enough action to do it anyway. Okay. Well, next turn. Next turn. You could probably do with that potion yourself as well. To be honest. You can have it. Oh. Just because I love you. Love me when the music shifts to indicate a change in the battle. Yeah, so when you're winning, you get the epic hero theme. Oh no, not whole person, not whole person. Okay, Gail, mess them up. How many spell slots do you got? Not that many, hooray. Uh, and then we have to deal with this problem. She's hiding behind here now. I don't know why she's so scared. Or you could just toss a healing potion this turn. Not that you have any on you, god damn it. And you can't kill him, can you? But that will hit. It won't do much, though. <laughs> Maybe you should Witch Bolt instead. Although it probably will be interrupted. Know what hit him. Parure. Parure. Useless. Slap a Starian. Wake him up. Okay. Well, that wasn't great. Uh, well. At least get a healing potion from someone else. Split the stack. Oh. Can I not split it and then... Okay. How are you doing? Not too good. Oh, you're 20 of 20. 
Stop whining. Give this to Starry. He'll use it next time. No. Oh, this is gonna go poorly. No, Starry's dead now. Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, you know, I would help Starry up, but what's the point? He's just gonna die again. <laughs> Karlak, we need you up. Okay. Okay, can you throw that right now or do you have to wait till next turn? Throw! Throw it at Karlak! didn't really help that much. I think she needs to be properly helped up now. <laughs> oh no. Did that help at all? I remember, so people were saying you have to throw the healing potion next to them rather than on them because once I killed someone by throwing a healing potion at them and it just concussed them and then they died. So I'm hoping that's still how it works. Well, if all else fails, run away uh he has to be able to see where it is to misty step right or can i just like eat myself over here i could misty step down by karlak that's gonna put me in the line of fire next turn you did yep it happened when i did the goblin encampment during early access full else fails f8 it may yet come to that my friend <sighs> Yeah, yeah. Stop whining. Uh, I've got no actions left to throw bulbs. I think I probably get it though. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a tricky fight. I. The only other thing I thought that we would be okay if we got the mages up to the top, but I didn't realize that the other one up there was also a mage. So maybe the best thing is to filter them out through the doorway and just all stand in the doorway and stick down a load of a load of AOE and make them walk through it and use thorns to hold them and, and just keep them where we need them okay let's, let's come, on, let's go. Go. come on Got come it. on okay so well Still we're assuming that we progressed. even need to go in there and announce our presence beforehand because technically we could just send them around to cause a bit of chaos, right? Like, Quietly. if I send Starry to do a stealth attack on this lady. A hamstring shot. Oh! Come back! Damn it. I'm gonna enter turn based mode. This is so we can see where the vision cones are going. So hopefully if we wait for long enough, she'll wander out again and then I can get rid of her. And then she won't give us trouble on the roof. Why am I doing this? I don't know, Gabe. Whoa, upon the unsuspecting. Do not steal from Historian. We're supposed to be friends. God damn it, Gabe. Ahead. Not even a rogue. Environmental turn. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Soldier. It is over with. I mean, I might exit, exit turn-based mode until she gets where we want her to go. Um, and then I'll I'll go into turn-based again, so that might be quicker. I want to see through the roof again. I want to see when she's coming. Yoo-hoo! Come over here! We just want to say hello. Okay, sorry, you can move up a little bit. Gail, Gail, no, stay where you are, Gail. Boys, come Silent on. Is the there you go. Alright. Hopefully she won't see you. No, no, no. Get down here. You only want to strike when the time is right, Starry. We've talked about this. She might be coming back out again soon. Come on, evildoers. Come where we can see you. Oh, hey, movement. Can't see in the building. Come closer. Maybe we go around this way. And then go into the wall. 
Okay, I think she's coming out again. Here she comes. Okay. Here we go. All right, Starry. Hamstring shot. Can't reach destination. Of course you can't. 99% chance to hit. But only if I point specifically at her actual hamstring. Okay. Ah, oh, sorry, roll nine. Um, sure, give him an 11. Okay. She doesn't like a Starion. Oh, why would that be? He's so nice. Got her. Okay, so she's already taken out. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Karlak is, I don't think, even in the turn order. We're not even in combat yet, so... We can stay here until things get gnarly. All right, Sari, you want to go into stealth again, because you do not want to be seen. And Gail, you can do some wizarding in there. Why not? He's going to get down here. I think they will go to where they heard the body fall. So what if I can get... Can I get a dash in there? I can get in here and behind the corner. Let's go. There we go. And now I'm stealthing there, hopefully. Am I stealthing? Are you stealthing? Are you stealthing, Star? I think he's stealthing. It's hard to tell with him because part. his stealth no, pose is pretty mind. much the same as his normal pose. He's like, always looking fabulous. AZ Bo, we're playing on middle difficulty mode. Not quite ready for the last level yet. I mean, not even devs can survive very long in that mode. So this is a particularly tricky fight, this one. Okay. Sorry, are you going to stay there? Your stealth strike. Maybe. <laughs> well, anyway, just stay there. You can knock out or flee from a temporarily hostile entity and return later. They might resent you, but will not be actively hostile. I want them to be actively hostile. They deserve it. Okay, Gail. Right, get that cantrip ready. Next turn. I think I want you to hit that next turn. Ranged can't get you here either. Okay. They're surprised, so we got a whole round of combat where they couldn't do anything. I think sneaking up on this lady here would be great. I don't know if she's gonna come this way by herself though. But a nice melee stab would be fantastic, sorry. If you've got it in you. Gonna take an action though. He can't make it there. Not this turn. Can you get a bit closer though in case she comes through the door? Or maybe I'll just stay here. Decisions, decisions. Okay, go, go, go. Heading home from Rocky Horror. Have you been keeping out of mischief? Yes. Rocky Horror is great. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, no, I'm not helping Trin. Do not react. Yeah. I think I could have possibly made them fail there, but you know, derp a lab. Okay, uh, get this down with a fireball. Boom. Take that, you fools. And I'm gonna hop and skip away here if I can. Just so that she doesn't get the ranged attack in. Hoppy skippy, hoppy skippy. And then I'm gonna bring both of us around the back in case they try and go up for Gale. I'll have them. And if they come around the other corner and try and go for a Starion, I'm right here. Come and find me. <laughs> ah, why is combat so fun? Okay, whose turn is it? Gales. Stay out of trouble, Gail. I'll deal with you next turn. Anders used Pommel Strike. Anders needs 14 to hit. They rolled 14. Why does this remind me of those math questions that you used to get in school? Like, Jimmy has five pence. To buy a Freddo from the tuck shop is 20 pence. Can Timmy afford the Freddo? 
No, Timmy cannot afford the Freddo, and Anders will miss his strike because I'm gonna make his roll a four instead. Yeah! How did he get all the way over here in that one turn as well? That's just rude. Uh, I don't think this counts as a sneak attack because he knows I'm here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but you still can stab him. In fact, if you want to heal, you can bite him. He hasn't taken any damage yet, though. Okay. Any other items that I want to use? I'm just going to go in with a straight up hit. Keep him distracted. And then... Nah, nothing else I can use at the moment. Okay. Still on my feet. Get him! I want to see some bonking. I'm gonna pull them towards me with Thorn Whip. Yeah! Get them away from Astarian. And then... Shalina! So that empowers my staff for next turn. He might just turn around and slap me in the face, but I don't care too much. She's coming out this way because she's like, oh, what's all the commotion about? <gasps> Hunter's Mark, which means she does more damage if she hits me. Oh no. Gail, you need a heal. Get yourself a potion, my boy. Who has a potion? There was a big superior potion. Here you go. Use that. There you go. Healed up now. And then if you want to get up here... We can lead them out the door, and then you can do ranged attacks from above. I like it. Chromatic orb. Whoa! I forgot I had this. Hells a sphere that deals 3 to 24 thunder damage, and possibly creates a surface on impact. Nice. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to use it on these guys. It's totally overkill, but I want to. <laughs> Now this is my happy place. Murder is your happy place, huh? Okay. Let's see. Can you can you get to them this turn, Karlak? Oh, he she can. Oh yeah. Take that, fool. Okay. Oh, that hurts. And he's now buffing his other party members. Starry, can you stealth now? Is that a thing? Uh, what is it to view vision cone shift? Okay, yep, he can. Now they see me. No, they don't. And then, um, hide from enemies by succeeding stealth attack, stick to the dark, avoid enemy sight lines. <laughs> I do want to just go in and stab him, but I'm also trying to behave myself. I'll get them next turn. As long as I stay over here, he shouldn't see me. Never a dull moment. Shalala! I may as well just slap him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, shifting to be a beast at the moment would be overkill, but I'm tempted. <laughs> it's fun. No, Penny, don't use pommel strike. No, Timmy, murder's not good. Well, Gail, you may as well come down here because we've almost finished him. And then can we get a nice juicy cantrip right in his face? That wasn't as juicy as I'd hoped, Gail. I'm not going to lie. You disappoint me. Bye forever, pal. It's okay. Carlac's got us. Hey, Carlac, you want to finish this off with some flair? I'm going to do a cleave. She rolled 11. Uh, Redka's attack, sure. Yeah. Down he goes. Will the others flee now, I wonder? So, Karlek, do you have a healing potion? There you go, take that. Feeling much better now. And she could get almost all the way there. But she can't attack this turn, so I'm just going to position her Covered. behind the door. And Starry, you're finally going to get to do something. Oh, I'm so way. sorry. <laughs> I tried, you know, I was trying to play the stealth game. That's why. 100%. What was that? 
Oh, okay. 100% chance of hitting the door. Oh, not so good. Okay. <laughs> I see how it is. Oh, I can crouch here. No choice but to keep going. Fine. Yes, you can't do anything this turn. You don't get to. I'm not doing great health-wise, so... Might see if I can do a cure wounds on myself. Take you and then what path lies before me? I'm gonna go here. Oh, she's running. <gasps> oh, maybe not. Ow. Oh, I was just in line of sight. Oh, I call bullshit. Hey, Gail, do you want to go back up here? Because she's running the other way, and then you can mm. you can get her from above if she tries any oh, funny fuck. business. How smart. Yeah, you sneak attack that door, Starry. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. I mean, doors are the most fearsome boss in any D&D setting. My party spent an entire session trying to defeat a door. Is Elfbot playing up again? I don't know what is up with this, because basically I start stream and Elfbot's fine. And then a few hours later, Elfbot just like is not connected to the channel. But I go to stream elements and it says he's connected. And the only way to get him to work again is to completely unlink him and then link him again. <laughs> it's so stupid. Okay. Dash, dash. Maybe? Dash, dash. It's an action. So maybe I can get there, actually, on my own steam. Yeah, go lacerate them, Karlak. Oh! Why does she do so much damage? Now push. Yeah. <laughs> It's so good. Can I get her to throw a chair at them next turn? I, I kind of want to end them by throwing a chair at them. I'm not going to lie. Can I just... Oh. <laughs> I mean, I think I have to throw it from my inventory. So I have to take it and then throw it. I can't just like gently move it on top of them. All right, Starry. I know you want to be useful. Off you go. Hiding successful. Do you think you can get the shot from here, darling? Oh, you can. Well, I wanted Carlac to finish them, but you deserve this story. <laughs> Yay! Fuck them. Fuck Thariel. I won't go back. I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Easy, Karlak. Those flames are getting hot. Zarya won't get near you again. We'll make sure of that. Tear this place apart. Oh, we can let her give in to the rage. But that might hurt her. Like, I, I think she can properly overheat the engine, so we'll look after you. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> you okay there? Come and get me. Where is she going? Oh my god. Unbridled wrath. She's, she's, not oh, Karlak? What's the story? Are you all right? Karlak? Oh my god, she's out of control! How do I stop her? I guess I just have to let this play out. Karlak? Karlak, I'm on fire! Why? No! I need to hold on. Don't kill me! Why am I chasing her? We're, we're still grouped, that's why. I keep running through all the fire. Uh, no, she's on fire! Karlak, we won! We won, Karlak! Calm down! We're winning, son! Oh my god. Glad that's over. Um. To do it. Uh. Everyone is dying. Oh, I'm. Oh god. You're still on fire? I'm dead? Do I have to waste a rest scroll on myself? Oh, thanks. Yeah. I just burnt to death, but yeah, sure. Thanks for the advice. Burnt to death, thanks to you. Do we have a rest scroll? 
Ah, oh, thankfully, yes. Okay, Gail, sort me out. I'm fading fast. Thank you. I must heal. Okay. Let me uh, see if I can just heal myself a little bit here. Woo! We are being raided! Tian is coming on in with a mighty party of raiders. Why, hello there. The Red Panda herself. Shields up! They may be dangerous. They may bite. A collection of adorable, but I'm sure deeply trustworthy, Red Pandas. I have not yet mastered the form of the Red Panda. I'm a druid here in Baldur's Gate 3. I can do badges. I can do bears. I've, I've got a whole bunch of forms, including spiders, but um, no Red Panda yet, which is very disappointing. Maybe. Maybe I will learn how to. But hello, everyone. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. We just survived a very difficult fight. My main character just got lit on fire and um, died. So we had to res her. But it's okay, because we have healing potions somewhere. And all of you know Tian is actually a red panda. I am actually an elf. If you have yet to meet an elf, hello. Great to meet you. We exist. We've been around for a very long time. Just haven't bothered interacting with humans. We play lots of RPGs here. I'm also a member of the Elder Scrolls Online stream team, so you can find me playing ESO a lot, but I am deep into Baldur's Gate right now. If you've just come in with a raid and you're also playing Baldur's, which character did he pick? Tell me about your character. I always love hearing about people's characters. What a charmer. Uh, we Shouldn't need to have, have a chat. Interesting times. Felt good letting off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Yeah, but I died. Granted, the fire lasted a little longer than it should. I like the look of it. Does it always last that long? How could you withstand the heat? Hear that? Ooh. Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. Here is my creature. Have you come to say hello to Tian and the Raiders? Oh, thank you, Void Creature. Um, are you going to sit on my desk? Go in your throne and then Track can see you. No? You don't want to go in your throne today? No? She demands cuddles. How the hell did you get an infernal engine for a heart? It sounds like there's a story there. High pain tolerance. And a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. Oof. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Ha. Let's save the scar show for later. Breaking After we've the wall. up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I, I faced down those paladins they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area Ooh. a tiefling he might be able to stabilize things if i can find him oh uh, maybe he's at the druid's grove wonder if they meant damon yeah he's a he's a tiefling weaponsmith we met him at the grove a weaponsmith huh not sure if he's the guy but i'd love to find out a tune-up would do this rusty heart a world of good mm-hmm not sure it's something we can fix, though. Soldier. Now that those paladins are out of our way, what's next on your agenda? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Things powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the Hells. Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic ground here, right? Yeah, surely not. I'd like to hear now how you ended up fighting in the Blood War. I've done what you asked. Why not? Let me see if I can paint you a picture. The year, ten air. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. 
Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. Well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. When you make a contract, though, surely it has to be the person who's under the contract that has to agree to it. She said she was set up by someone, but how come they could bargain her away as part of the deal? You mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zariel. Who was it? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. Oh. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. Oh. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked. Doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. It's Gortash. Who I know from the panel from Hells is running to be like governor of Baldur's Gate. And we're gonna meet them. Interesting. Okay. She's literally on fire, don't trust her. Look, it's through no fault of her own. She didn't mean to, to become this way, Jam. It was forced on her. Oh, <gasps> loot! Oh, the sword of justice! Oh, who wants this? Is it two-handed? Yeah. It's a great big two-handed great sword. Lazel would love that. As would Karlak, I think. Oh, I am so encumbered. Oh, we have so much looting to do. Well, hello. <laughs> hello, darling. Could you help us with the looting? Would you mind terribly? I think you have the least objects on you of anyone in the party, my dear. Get, get that crossbow, yes. On my way. I so wonder. much loot. They were so nice before, that's the thing. When we came in here, they were like, oh, help yourself to any supplies you need. It's all right with us. We just want to do what we can to help. Ooh, a drum! There's a water pump here. Oh. I wonder if that has any effect on anything, like... If someone cast fire in the fight with this help. Oh, we've got lots of lots of backstory going on in chat. Hey, Falso! Hey, Rin! I'm a tiefling warlock named Tempest. I like the name. Kind of like a Tempest. I really enjoy all the racial and class-related moments that make additional playthroughs different. Yeah, and you get extra bonuses and, and extra options and conversations that wouldn't happen if you weren't playing like the same race as someone else or a certain class. I've got some interesting things going on in Druid's Grove at the moment because I'm a Druid. And I'm also an elf, so some of the elves are more likely to talk to me and share things with me. I love how you're just casually having a chat over some poor guy's dead body. Ah, yeah, that guy. He's been in there the entire time, throughout the entire fight. I, I kind of forgot he was there. He's just furniture now. My tiefling's named Hope. She was raised as a human by her human parents, so grew up wonderfully self-hating for what she is. So she tries to be a do-gooder to balance the scales, compensating. I hope that she finds self-acceptance and realize that, right, realizes that she's enough by herself. And she doesn't need to be anything for anyone else. That's going to be a beautiful hero's journey, twin. Fenrir is a drow warlock with a fae patron. Fun to convince people you're not so bad. Plus five on any talky skills helps. Are you going for evil then in the background? Like able to cover it with a very thin veneer of charm and then underneath you're actually evil. I like some evilness. It's quite fun to do. My second playthrough will definitely be evil. Probably evil drow. Mm, or, mm, I mean, those horn options and those scale options look awfully good on those dragon folks. So, maybe evil dragon? Evil dragon, burn them all with fireballs playthrough? I'm usually a goody goody two shoes on my first playthrough. Oh my gosh, we need to loot this entire place. Oh! 
Well, I say, is that smut hidden behind that barrel? <laughs> oh, Larian, you shouldn't have. Uh, we already read this today. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to read the last verse for anyone who missed this absolute work of literature. Of you, I know you seek a larger hoe to plow fair maid and seed to grow. But lack do ye mighty horn and mast with which to guide a maid to bed and fast. Oh. So much innuendo. So much. Sales is playing a drow rogue. But on the questionable side. Okay, we like a bit of morally questionableness. Not necessarily evil, but still having some fun. Only interested in her own advancement. Yeah, not exactly evil. Just out for themselves. Meanwhile, we have a loth sworn. Oh. It's inevitable that you'll have some accidental assassination. I mean, it just happens sometimes. Like, people's heads just become detached from their bodies. It's, it's just a normal Thursday, really. Lemons! Tiefling wizard. Bit of a goody-goody. I especially take care of other tieflings. It's nice that you have options to be more sympathetic to tieflings as well. I kind of wonder if there's any additional options when you're in the grove, just because you are a tiefling. Esteemed reader, while this journal is no stranger to surprising news from the outermost reaches of our fair land, I must warn that this season's edition contains news some might find, in a word, shocking. It might be the cult of the absolute reported by our agents in Eltergard will fade like any other, but reports of alliances between Goblin and Lothsworn, Drow, Troll, and Draugr are a particular cause for alarm. The seriousness of the enclosed report is quite unique in our history. Prior to publication, messengers were sent to localities, including Bowler's Gate, Scornable, and Candlekeep. Let us hope that these reports are received with the proper gravity for the safety of all. Sincerely, Mingus Etchley, Editor-in-Chief. I say... Well, uh, the reports were not enclosed, so I wonder what they were. Draugr? I don't know how to... It's Druagar, isn't it? Is it Druagar? It's one of those words that I've only ever read and I've not heard pronounced aloud. So I'm just, like, making up my own pronunciation for everything. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade! Make life take the lemons back! Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons! What the hell am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager! Make life rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons! Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down! With the lemons! I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down! I love Cave Johnson. He's he's best boy. Best boy. Portal is one of my favorite games ever. I really want to play that on stream at some point as well. But yeah, my obsession with Portal knows no bounds. I used to make um, custom workshop levels for Portal as well. It was great fun. I think it's pronounced Dwergar. Dwergar? Dwergar. Dwergar. Dwergar, Dwergar, Dwergar. I just want to make sure there's nothing left in here that's actually useful. Whoa, I didn't loot the whole bag. What's in here? And the desk. Apples. Delish. Brimmed hat. Oh, more fancy hats for everyone. Sure. Oh, it's a witch's hat. I'll have that. I look fabulous. Destitute clothes. Probably not worth much. Yet I take the ink quill. What's in this sack? Hello. Mal. I don't know if you can hear those pathetic meows. What is it? Do you want some attention? Are you in need of some attention? I think she's upset because last night she had some top tier cuddles after stream. And now she's like, end stream, one cuddles, one cuddles. The stained, well-thumbed pages filled with traveling advice that seems to be decades out of date. Those who seek to journey to the coast from the interior regions lying to the east will typically seek out the Risen Road. Running parallel to the river Hionthar, the Risen Road provides an overland route all the way from Elterel to Baldur's Gate. 
and has proven tempting to travellers since an alternate to the river barges that sail to Chionthar. Chionthar? Chionthar? A portion of the road approximately halfway between El Terrell and Baldur's Gate has in recent years developed into an enclave for saloon worship, with a temple of not insignificant splendor lying near the road. Indeed, an entire village, Moonhaven, has developed alongside the temple and can provide food and shelter to the weary travelers. Well, someone's not going to be happy about going there. Further to the east lies the citadel of Moonrise Towers where a toll is required for onward passage of goods and folk alike. Some attempted to go off-road in order to avoid the toll, however bandits and other dangers may cause them to pay a much steeper price. We'll see which one we choose. I'm not paying any toll. I'm not paying anything. Oh, it's a household prayer. Are we being preached at? Good is the absence of evil. It means to seek peace and to enforce it. It means to seek depravity and to denounce it. And it means to trust in your God and yourself. For the greatest good of all is called faith. Goodness is not lawfulness. Law is commandment of God or of mortals. It is the call of authority and the sanction of its opponents. Law is the father of order. To renounce it is to invite in chaos in which there is neither meaning nor life. Law can be corrupted. Lawfulness is not goodness. I say to you then that we seek not to be good or to be lawful, but to be just. For what is it to be good if we cannot define the acts that oppose it? What is it to be lawful if it is a devil's commands we obey? Justice is the hand that feeds the hungry and the shield that guards the weak. It is the sword that fells the wicked, and the cloak that warms the indignant. Indi- Indi- Indignant! <laughs> Welcome to Dawnkan English. <laughs> it is for justice that the Order of the Gauntlet stands watch, and it is justice that Tyr and Torm, Helm and Hor demand. Things get dangerous when you, uh, Define what justice is, though, on your own terms. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna take this book for law reasons. If anyone's new here, I have a channel over on YouTube called Law Whisper, and I read law books from games. I have yet to upload on there for a very long time. I need to actually start recording some stuff. Now that I actually have a vocal booth downstairs, I need to get time to go in it and start recording some law books. But, uh, yeah, definitely somewhere to go and check out if you want some chill lore reading. Definitely going to do some Baldur's Gate lore reading. I think Elfbot's still asleep. Um, I think he's still asleep. Oh my god! What is your deal, Elfbot? Seriously. It's so rude. Like, it says he's connected to the channel and he's not! He's not. Well, it will work if I do this. If, he, if he's just normal stream elements, he works, apparently. But he doesn't like being Elfbot for now. So, there you go. There we go. <laughs> did you check the basement? I did. Actually, in fact, before I even went into this house, I found a way in from the outside. And I went down and I stole everything. Manamos! A brand new wisp. A lot of fresh souls coming in today. Thank you so much. A very warm welcome to the immortal crew. You are now a bright, shiny creature comprised of your very soul energy known as a wisp. You have a little wisp next to your name in chat, which will grow if you ever choose to give me your soul again. And I hope you enjoy the immortality as well as all of our emotes on this channel. I can now also save you from the nefarious overlord that is Twitch ads. So you no longer have any Twitch ads here as well. Yeah, I still haven't recorded a Law Whisper from my vocal booth, so I'm really excited to see how different it sounds. Because most of my law readings, I literally would just record here with this microphone, which is much more of like a podcasty microphone. Um, and I have quite a lot of background noise that goes on, you know, my computer wearing away and everything, which you don't notice on stream, but for audio recordings, it was very noticeable and I had to edit quite a lot out. So I'm really excited to just like blast through some books in there should be fun if you have any favorite lore books from playing Baldur's Gate 3 already let me know in chat 
I'd love to see what they are. Household prayer. What is that? Lethander to light, saloon to guide, Calamphor to judge, and passage provide. Nah, screw the gods. We can handle things ourselves. With fire and blood and pointy daggers. Anything else in here for me? I think I've checked everywhere. Which mics do you have? So this is a short SM7B that I use for stream. It is kind of like, I feel like it's been the mic that's, that's recommended me. for streamers a lot. But honestly, do do not focus on the mic if you're starting streaming. Just, just get streaming. Just start streaming. This is one I upgraded after many years. And then the other mic that I use in the vocal booth now is my old stream mic, which is a, uh, not a sure, it is a Rode NT1. So it's less podcasty. It picks up more of the higher tones of my voice, but it's also a lot more sensitive than this one. So this is great if you're like whacking a keyboard in the background, it cancels out all the background noise by itself. But yeah, I started streaming with a blue snowball. <laughs> That was my that was my first microphone. It's this little tiny ball microphone. I think it's about like 30 pounds or something. And that's what I started streaming with. And then after a while I upgraded to a slightly better one. And then after that I was like, ooh, that sure looks mighty fine. But honestly, now there are so many good microphones that aren't anywhere near the price range of like, you know, the professional mics and still do such a great job for stream. So some of the Elgato microphones, Elgato's got a great streaming microphone. The AT2020 is still a fantastic microphone for the price. And honestly, I would challenge you to hear much of a difference between that and some much more expensive microphones. Um, I think people tend still to focus waiting, too much on everything. gear when they get into streaming. And I understand it because I definitely was one of those people who was like, oh, I'll start streaming when I have like the, the proper computer set up and like, oh, and I have a good microphone and I have a good camera and I have a good this and that. And I understand, but that's like partly you putting it off, right? Like if you want to do it, just do it. Just like get making things. But I totally understand that mindset because that was me as well. <laughs> but I started off with my little blue snowball. I didn't do face cam at all when I first started streaming as well. Just picked up the Elgato mic arm. The cheap one I got was horrible. Yeah, you think, oh, it's fine. I'll just get like a cheap, like 10 pound mic arm from Amazon. But mic arms make such a difference because it just allows you to use your space effectively. The low profile mic arm from Elgato is on my very much looking at with coveting eyes list. This is a Rode one. This is a Rode PSA one, which is amazing. I've had it for years now. It, it holds all sorts of microphones, even some of the heaviest microphones I've ever had. So it, it does a really good job and the movement is very smooth. So if I want to move my microphone away and just use my desk normally, I'm just like, bye bye. <laughs> or I can adjust the microphone during stream. Uh, and yeah, the cheap one kept working loose. So the mic sank. Yeah, I used to have like um, oh, Snowball or I had a Yeti as well. And the Yeti is a massive heavy microphone and it used to sink down on my mic arm. And I'd slowly noticed that it was going towards the floor during stream. Love having, having a good mic. Oh, for sure. You'll be the most loved in the voice chat. There's nothing worse than someone with a terrible mic coming onto voice chat and you're like and there's dogs barking in the background and you can hear them shifting in their chair and slamming on their keyboard. Which, by the way, if you have a lot of background noise when you're in voice calls, especially if you play MMOs and you're doing raiding with friends, highly, highly recommend checking out NVIDIA sound cancelling if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. I think it's, I can't remember what series it is, but it's some of the kind of newish ones and higher in the series. Their sound cancelling 
is incredible. Like, I didn't think it would work very well, but I had my AC on when it was the height of summer and I was sweating it out in the stream room and I never want to sacrifice on my audio quality, but I put it on and it just cancelled out the sound of the AC almost entirely. No one could notice it whatsoever. It obviously does distort the voice a tiny bit, but not enough for anyone to notice on stream. So that was a lifesaver. Yeah, NVIDIA broadcast is actual magic. Yep, and if you don't have like a fancy DSLR camera, you can use it for background blur. And it gives you proper kind of professional camera background blur just with the uh, software. Very cool. Okay, we should probably take a nice long rest. <laughs> Uh, we could take a short rest, but ouch, my spell slots. Ouch, my everything. Let's, let's go. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 and higher. There you go. It's amazing how many non-graphic tasks GPUs can do these days. Yeah. And I mean, it really helps having a good graphics card when I'm rendering videos and stuff too. Yeah, the noise reduction OBS works as well. Uh, it's not quite as good, not quite, but it's still great if you need something to get started on as well. Definitely helps. It's definitely a lot better than it used to be. I had like one of the first versions of OBS when I first started streaming and it was just, it was just not great. Like they hadn't developed a lot of the features yet. So it's crazy seeing how far it's come. Oh, where's Gail gone? Gail? Are you in here? Or is he down, down, down by the river? I'm sorry I left you at camp, Gale. Oh no, okay, it's still daytime. So they're not here. Also, I just noticed that Lazel has a whole ogre's head in a bucket as a decoration. Oh, I've got a Don't split party. That makes sense. I was like, where are you? <laughs> You guys given up on me? Oh, we didn't loot Cyril either. Ooh, scroll of mirror image. Very useful. And a nice stabbagey dagger. We love to see it. Okay, well, you guys come back as well. There we go. What to do? What to do? What to do? These boots have seen everything. These boots are made for walking. These boots need to sell some of their crap that they're holding on to. There you are, Gale. Everyone's in their rightful place. F5. We survived it. We made it. You just travelled uh, to camp, not long rest. Yeah, with the second party members, but you can click on the bedroll and end the day. As long as everyone's in camp, you can end the day. From this menu as well. Have you met Withers yet, Dawn? I know of Withers. I haven't met him in this playthrough yet, but I know where he is. And I can't wait to have him here. He's very useful. We shall be meeting him. I should speak up. Hey, Scratchy Scratch. How are you doing? Your inventory is always atrocious, Dawn. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a neat freak. I like it nice and clean in my inventories in every game I play. <laughs> How dare you? You good, Papa. I'm sad I can't talk to him. It won't let me talk to him when I'm in animal form, but maybe it specifically wants you to use speak with animals. In which case, lovely day this. Didn't you have that, Gail? No. Oh no, I swapped it out. Keep your distance. Down. Yeah, it's weird. It doesn't let you do it in uh, in druid animal form. Clear Can't your inventory. Ahead. Okay, fine. How many slots does this thing have? Like, is that it or oh no oh no i think it's unlimited <gasps> praise be praise the absolute i think i can just put everything in you have two potions of animal speak oh yeah that's true i do we could try it i'm just sad that the actual druid form didn't work Potion of animal speaking. Let's try it. Clean inventory later. Talk to Doggy now. I have priorities. Mm. 
Hope you're keeping well. Yeah, friend. Scratch, my boy. Oh, um, I'm really sorry about what happened to your master. Master, friend. I stayed with him until, until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Aww. Hit him. Good boy. I'll never forget him. We'll make a little memorial for your friend. I think he deserves that. You should be able to cast it as a druid ritual and then change the spell out and have speak with animals all day. How do I cast things as a ritual in Baldur's Gate? Like, do you right click it and then say cast as ritual? I don't know how it works. Like wild shape as a, oh, or you mean, um, you mean the actual talk with animals spell? Most of the time I just switch into like a cat or a wolf or whatever to talk to animals. And it, I don't know what the rules are on which animals can speak to me in which forms, but so far they've all been able to talk to me, no matter which animal form I choose, as long as I'm also an animal, they'll talk to me. Who's chopping onions in here? It's okay, he has a new family now. He's a good boy. I do wish that animals could speak, but also at the same time, I kind of don't. Can you imagine? Especially dogs, they'd just be like, food, food. Mum, food, hungry, want food, food now, please, please, hungry, food. Play, play with me, play, play, look at me, look at me, look at me. It'd be even worse than having a toddler. And never mind cats, like cats were probably sassy all day, like where's my food? It's been exactly three minutes past my meal time. I have been waiting. How dare you? I am going to piss on your bed. It's probably how it would go. I don't want my dog to talk to me. They'd just be like, where's food? More food, give me food. Especially Labradors. Especially Labradors. And welcome, Flitzy. I would have loved to know that my pets were happy and tell them how much they were loved. Aww. I often wonder, does Moogle know how much I love her? I hope she does. I hope she does. Like, quite often, she'll be on my lap and I will just blubber like a baby because I love her so much. I don't think you understand how much I love my cat. I've had a long time of not having any animals in my life and I really, really wanted a cat for the longest time. I really missed my uh, my old girls who passed away. Um, so having having another cat in my life and one who's so special makes me so happy. She's so lovely. She really reminds me of my old cat that passed away and she lived to a grand old age of 21, I think it was, in cat years. And she was she was there a long time throughout the elven life and it was sad to let her go, but she reminds me of her in so many ways. And she was also a tiny, tiny cat, tiny little, tiny little cat, like run to the litter cat. And then she had a little chirrup, like a little trill like Moogle does. So I feel like they met each other, like, you know, in, in cat heaven. And my last cat was like, hey, hey, when your, when your body goes down to earth, right? You go, go find this dawn lady, go find her from me and stay with her. I feel like that's what happened. Like they had a little, they had a little session together and they sorted things out. And the, uh, the cat designation system worked its dark magic. I was assigned her by the universe, <laughs> for sure. Imagine what your cat's trying to say to you when standing on your chest in the morning waking you up. I mean, Mog does wake me up every single morning by making what I call tit biscuits. That is how I wake up in the morning, is with a cat making biscuits directly on my tentaculars. And yeah, she's probably like, Mom, wake up. Here's some biscuits, Mom. Probably how she wakes me up. Tit biscuits are delicious. And if she didn't make tit biscuits, who else would? The bakery would be out of tit biscuits. So she's she's doing good work there. She works hard, so nobody else has to. Food, 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 sleep, sleep, play, play. That that would be doggo doggo monologue for sure. Especially. But Humes. Speaking of the realms of sleep. I hate to say it, 
but I must depart you for now. I could play Baldur's Gate all night long. I know I could, which is why I have to stop myself right now. I could stay here throughout the night. Time does not pass when we play this game. <laughs> 